around the world on the TuneIn Radio app. It's Oklahoma and Texas Tech, and here we go. Clayton Hatfield will kick it away for the Red Raiders. 17 of his 46 kickoffs have gone for touchbacks. Deep to receive, D.D. Westbrook and Michael Jones. As Coach Bob Stoops mentioned, D.D. instead of Joe Mixon tonight. High driving kickoff. It'll take D.D. six yards deep into the end zone as the tortillas fly in Lubbock. And the Sooners will start on the 25-yard line. Fortunately, Ted Lehman with a pocket full of queso. He's got his first quarter snack. I think there's some sort of art to this, Toby, because some of the tortillas have holes in the middle, and I think one nearly hit us that was chewed up. I think there's some sort of strategy to this. Aerodynamics, Plank. Aerodynamics. You've got four quarters to figure it out, Chris. <laughs> Baker Mayfield with Joe Mixon and Dimitri Flowers with him in the backfield. Looks like they're going to line up at a power pistol. The receivers are Andrews, Westbrook, and A.D. Miller. First down from the 25 opening snap of the night. Flowers moves to the right of Baker. Dede goes in motion. Snap, handoff, Mixon running right. Met in the backfield. Breaks one tackle but can't get away from the second. And that'll be about a one-yard loss on the opening play of the game. Braden Fahoko with the tackle. And penetration there by number four just completely stops that thing from Joe Mixon. Once he gets going downhill, that's when he's dangerous. If he has to stay lateral, it's tough. Second and 11, double tight end set to the right with Andrews and Flowers from the 24. Baker's got it. Play action. Looks left, throws left. He's got D.D. First catch at the 30. Make it A.D. Miller. He got to the 31, and that's it. That's a pickup of seven. It'll be the first third down of the night, third and four. Ground in a frenzy. Red Raiders trying to get a three and out to start this game. Same personnel package here. Mark Andrews splits out to the right. Now Flowers will join him on third and four. Mixon in the backfield. Baker's got it. Back to pass. Looking middle. Throws in. Caught behind the line by Didi. He's going to race for the first down to the 35. Hits the brakes. Up to the 40. Makes a cutback. And he's tackled at the 44. D.D. Westbrook. Three straight huge weeks. And his first catch of the night goes for 13. He gets a natural pick there from Andrews when they run those crossing rights there at about five yards. The Texas Tech guys ran into each other. First and 10 from the 44 in Sooner Territory. Snap, Baker, play action, looks left. I think he's going to run it himself. Now he'll throw late, and it's incomplete. A.D. Miller covered on the far side by Paul Banks the third. Baker looked like he was going to take off. He had a man in pursuit, though, and at the last second decided to sling it. It'll be second and 10. First incomplete pass of the night. Jordan Smallwood checks into the game for Westbrook. Andrews and Miller to the left. Smallwood, lone receiver to the right. Mixon to the right of Mayfield. Second and 10. There's the snap. Baker back to pass. Four-man rush. Has time. He throws deep down the middle looking for Joe. He's got him on the run at the 30, to the 10, to the 5, into the end zone. Touchdown Sooners. Baker Mayfield to Joe Mixon. A 56-yard touchdown pass. And the Sooners break on top in Lubbock. And Baker Mayfield came right over here, Toby, to the sideline to make sure that the crowd on this side knew that he was pumped up about the first big play from the Sooners, which ends in six. How about that pass, Coach Burv? He hit him in stride. Perfect pass. Perfect call. Extra point is away, and it is no good. It's the first missed extra point of the year for Austin Seibert. Five plays, 75-yard touchdown drive. It took a minute, 37. Baker, three for four, passing on that possession. Joe run on that drive before they go downtown to Joe Mixon, and that's just the threat that he brings. There's the kickoff. High, and it'll come down at the two. Reginald Davis over the right side. 10, 15, makes a cutback, met at the 20, and spun down. Flag is down. Jordan Parker, the tackle at the 22-yard line, but this almost certainly... Well, let's see. This is awful far downfield this way. Somebody off sides, perhaps? Probably clipped from behind, I would imagine. 
The flag all the way down at the 47 in Sooner territory. And another one at the Tech 40. Illegal equipment by the kicking team. There were two players wearing number 18. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's first down. So Curtis Bolton and Dahu Green must have both been on the field at the same time, and that's an oversight that they got to fix. I think the confusion, confusion lied with why Dahu Green was out there to begin with. Dennis Simmons and Jay Bull were both talking with them right now, and Brad Camp goes back to make sure that Dahu will have an extra jersey whenever he comes in on kickoff coverage. 27-yard line is where Tech will start. Mahomes has DeLeon Ward, the true freshman, in the backfield with him. He made his first appearance in the fourth quarter last week against West Virginia. Back to pass, Mahomes, three-man rush, looking middle, flush to the right now, still looking, throws late across the middle, sliding catch made at the 35 by Cameron Batson. That's a pickup of eight. And there's a three-man rush. West Virginia had a lot of success last week against Texas Tech with the three-man rush. That could be a big part of the game plan today for the Sooners. Not if it doesn't work better than that, it won't be. Two backs in, split backs now, as Demarcus Felton enters the game. Three wides. Capridu set in on second and two. Quick throw out into the flat, caught at the 30. Turn up 35, first down across the 40. That's DeLeon Ward, and he puts his nose down, gets near midfield. DeLeon Ward, 5'10", 180, freshman from Dallas, Texas. A pickup of 13. They go with two backs there, and we change our personnel and bring Doucette in a little bit bigger formation, and they still swing it outside and take advantage of the size that you just put out on the field. Romar in for Wade. First and 10 from the 49 in Tech Territory, just at the bottom of the double T logo. In motion goes Kiki QT. Throw across the middle, caught, crossing pattern. Sooner Territory, fumble! Ball's loose, and the Sooners have recovered! Jonathan Giles caught it, got hit, coughed it up, and Jordan Evans jumped on it. The Sooners came into play tonight, minus seven in turnover margin. But they pick up the first one of the night. Jonathan Giles, who leads the Big 12 in receiving yardage and touchdown receptions, caught that one at about the Sooner 45-yard line, got popped and coughed it up, and the Sooners have it. What you love about that is that there are so many guys around the football pursuing to be there on the tackle, and that's how you're able to fall on that because you got so many guys around the football. Toby, I know how much your spotter boards mean to you, but you got to make an adjustment, all right? Dahu Green will now be wearing number two. So, obviously, not a confusion about Green being in there, just a confusion about making sure he had the proper jersey number. So, Dahu Green will be wearing number two now for the Sooners. Joe Mixon in the backfield. Baker's going to throw it to him. Caught in the flat. 35 to the corner. 40. Turns the corner. 45. And he's got the first down as he steps out of bounds around midfield. Justice Nelson forced him out, but he got 11. Move the chains. 6 nothing Sooners. 12.05 to go first quarter. Oklahoma scored. Missed the extra point. Texas Tech fumbled. Sooners have it for the second time. Out of the shotgun on first down. Snap. Baker. Handoff Joe around the left side, bounces out, now cuts it up across the 50. Gets into Tech territory, but sits down after a gain of only two. Eric Wren's helmet came off, so he's going to have to come out of the game for a play, and Jonathan Alvarez will come back in, or come in. Alvarez, who we have not seen for a while. Second and eight. We have not yet seen Abdul Adams. It's been all Joe Mixon at running back. Three wides, tight end Flowers. Snap, play action, rolling right. Baker, wanting to go deep. He's going to sling it for the end zone, looking for D.D. He's got it! Oh, mama! He's got a touchdown! Baker Mayfield, 49 yards, another bomb to D.D. Ha-ha! 12-0 sooner. And that, Toby, was your All-State good hands catch of the game. A beautifully thrown ball and an even more perfect catch. All-State, a proud sponsor of OU football. It's good to be in good hands. The blazing speed of Westbrook again lights up a defense on the back end. Extra point attempt by Austin Seibert this time is good. Wow. 
that was an absolute dime by Baker Mayfield. That ball, he couldn't have sat on his shoulder pads and dropped it into his hands. Back. Eight to go, first quarter. Great start for the Sooners tonight in Lubbock. 13 nothing. You're reliving history. This classic college game continues next from Learfield IMG College. This classic Sooner broadcast is brought to you in part by Buick and GMC. Buick and GMC, we're here to help. At Mercy, your life is our life's work. The best chicken finger meals are served hot, fast, and fresh just for you. And that is exactly what you get at Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Restaurants are open and ready to serve you through drive through or takeout. One love. From Learfield IMG College, you're listening to a classic college game. DeMarcus Felton, Reginald Davis deep to receive. This will be a little better kick, but it'll come down two yards deep in the end zone, and he comes out trying to pause. 5, 10, caught at the 15, and he's down there. That was a mistake. And Dahu Green now wearing the number two with the tackle. That was another enjoy vision. Two minutes to 20-20 scoring drive. It took 44 seconds for your chance to win free LASIK from enjoy vision. Text Sooners 2020. To 90561. Three plays, 62 yards, 44 seconds. Pretty good start for Baker in his return tonight. Four for five, 125 yards, and two touchdowns. And we have not yet played four minutes. Tech from their own 16. Pistol formation. Ward is deep. Play action. Rolling right. Mahomes. Flushed. Rolling. Rolling. Throws late. It is out of bounds. Incomplete. Their right offensive tackle has held Hell. twice. No time. <laughs> Bob Stoops is out having a uh, a word with a line judge right now. Capri said was hogtied on that one and no flag at all. Their first offensive play did the same thing. Just grabbed him. Second and ten. That's Balin Brown you're talking about. Four wides. Mahomes has it. Straight drop. Four-man rush, under pressure, hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Emmanuel Beal drives Patrick Mahomes into the turf. It'll be third and ten. Beal weaved his way through traffic to find his way to Mahomes that time and planted him back at the five-yard line. Zuber trying to get the ball back, still not four minutes into this game. They lead 13 zip, five wides. Mahomes three for five early on. First third down of the night. Here comes a blitz. Mahomes straight drop. Going to throw deep down the right side. It is caught at the 40 and out of bounds there. Cameron Batson one-on-one against Will Johnson. Boy, a nice pass there. Patrick Mahomes dropped it in the bucket. He was covered extremely well, but it was just a fantastic throw. 31 yards on the pickup to the 47. Double tight end set. Looked like early movement. Yep, flag is down. Right side of the Tech line moved early. A false start by number 78 of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's still first down. And we'll keep track of that tonight because these two teams are at the opposite end of the penalty spectrum in the Big 12. Sooners are the best, right at four and a half penalties a game. Texas Tech the worst, averaging nearly 10 penalties a contest. One apiece so far tonight. That'll move it back to the 42. It'll be first and 15. Ward at running back, man in motion. It is a throw across the middle. Nice crossing pattern at midfield. Caught and banged down at the 40-yard line. That is Tony Brown, I believe. Tony Brown, the reception. And the Red Raiders make their deep push, push into Sooner territory tonight. Able to get the linebackers to step up there and play action. They were a little late getting there over the middle. First and 10 from the 39. Sooners 39. Jordan Evans showing blitz right into the line. Now Mahomes wants to change something. He's got trips left. One receiver to the right. Ward the back to his left. First and 10. Back to pass. Mahomes. Four-man rush across the middle. Has a man at the 30-yard line who runs backwards and gives up yards back to the 33. Jonathan Giles. He gave up three yards there in trying to run around the Sooner tackler, Okoronkwo. Right now, Oklahoma's getting a lot of passes hit on them over the middle. That means the linebackers are a little bit out of place right now trying to get comfortable with this Texas Tech offense. At first and two, the guy motion put the 
It's defensive back inside in a real bind. Pick up of six. Here's second and four. Mahomes wants to throw again. Does. Caught at the 35, trying to get to the corner. That is Ian Sadler. He's got the first down, and he's finally tackled by Ahmad Thomas. And Stephen Parker's hurt. Stephen Parker holding his midsection right now, it looks like. It's on the Texas Tech sideline. Shoulder, maybe? It might be a shoulder issue. Uh, trying remember, to get to his feet. That's what he struggled with early in the season against Houston, Toby. Had that left shoulder injury that they ended up re-harnessing. Ted, you've had a lot of those shoulder issues before. I mean, is this something that might be a pain management issue for Steven right now? It's hard to tell, you know, whenever that whole area is tender. Uh, you know, you take a shot on it, you reach out and grab someone with your arm extended, everything just hurts a little bit more. So if it's a shoulder, uh, you know, I don't know, it's going to be a weakened area that he's going to be fighting against the rest of the season. And, Toby, I know we're due a break, but with the way that the the replacements, the fill-ins played against Texas, Kerry Cooks a lot of confidence in names like Houghton and Sunderland as Stephen Parker is up to his feet and walking off the field under his own power. Delta Dental, find your smile with Delta Dental of Oklahoma. Hashtag Sooner Smile Saturday. It does indeed look like it's the left shoulder that he's favoring, so we'll... Uh, We'll see exactly. Uh, Dr. Jim Hillis is there with him also. Let's see, look at it. head athletic trainer Scott Anderson. They're going to take him right over to the trainer's table and get a look at this. Well, it's the golden-hatted hero himself, Will Sunderland, into the game for OU. Diamond formation for Texas Tech, first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Snap. Option. Now Mahomes is going to back up and throw. Throws back near side. Caught at the 25. Flag is down, darting to the 16-yard line. Let's see what the flag is here, though. It's at the line of scrimmage. It came in after the snap. Will after the snap. Mason Reed was the receiver. An ineligible receiver downfield, number two of the offense. He lined up and was covered up. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's still second down. Second Red Raider penalty. That takes about a eight-yard gain off the board. It's tough to beat teams that are better than you on the roster. They're ranked higher than you. There is no foul. Second down. Well, never mind. Well, they talked it over and decided it wasn't a penalty. So put the eight yards back, move the ball to the 16. Looks Toby's. like Stephen Parker's going to be okay, Toby. As a matter of fact, he ran over right now to Kerry Cooks. Bob Stoops very upset this flag was picked up. But Stephen Parker trying to get back in the game. He passed all the tests they needed him to pass with his shoulder. 13-0 Sooners. Red Raiders in the red zone for the first time. Out of the shotgun, empty set. Mahomes back to pass. Looks right, under pressure. Flush back to his left. Oboe's given chase. Near the sidelines, he throws left-handed out of bounds as D.J. Ward tackles him. Mahomes switched hands and lobbed it out of bounds with his left hand. It'll be third and two. Pretty sharp to do that. <laughs> nice stunt right there by Oboe coming up on the inside. And Roberts going on the outsider is that Ward. And then finally gets the pressure there. But that, that little stunt there gives those offensive linemen fits. Third and two. Daly on Ward, the back, standing to the left of Patrick Mahomes. Need to get to the 14 for a first down. Mahomes looks back at the sideline. Kingsbury claps his hands. Mahomes with instructions each side to his wide receivers. Now he moves Ward to his right. And he's got it. Back to pass. Four-man rush. Looks right. Throws right. It is a diving catch at the 12. That'll be enough. Jonathan Giles, his third grab already. Toby, just again, Stephen Parker back in the game. They checked the left shoulder. It was a non-contact injury. He looks like he's going to be okay. It's good. Great news. First and 10 from the 12. Keeper Mahomes around the left side, and we've got a whistle before the snap. The ruling on the field was a catch for a first down. The previous play is under further review. All right, we'll take a look at it in the booth. Here's our first glance. Ted, we had a great perspective on that. It happened right in front of us. It looked like a catch to me unless he bobbled it with his back to us. It was right in front of us, but the guy with the chains blocked my vision. I, I was surprised that he caught it whenever Toby said a catch, but I, my vision was blocked from it. It's a McIntyre Law, Sooner Review, Noble McIntyre, and McIntyre Law, the law firm you should turn to for all your personal injury needs. They almost showed us the replay. Now they're going to show it to us. Pass in the flat to Giles. He dives for it, and... Looked like he caught it to me. He kind of fell on top of the football. They showed it in the stadium, and it looked like it in the stadium shot, too, that he had it. But... 
We had pretty good perspective because it happened literally right in front of us, Toby. And unless that ball moved, which it didn't look like After it did. further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. And there you go. I'll say this, Toby. I know that Mahomes has been banged up recently, but these first two drives, he looked sharp to me. It looks like he's able to put everything he needs to on the football. Now, that's just that's early. We'll see what happens as the game progresses. But right now, doesn't look like he's favoring anything. Amani Bledsoe in. We're still a minute away from halfway through the first quarter, and the two quarterbacks have combined for 227 yard, 237 yards passing. Mahomes throws out, caught in the right flat. Oh, he breaks a tackle to the 10 to the 5 and banged out of bounds. Reginald Davis slipped away from Jordan Parker, who had a chance to make a tackle at the line of scrimmage. They put it down at the three. Second and one from the three. Tech knocking on the door. Sooners up 13-0. Quick snap. Keeper Mahomes over the left side. Met by Jordan Evans and tackled for a loss. Well, there's a gain tackle of five Sooners jump on the Tech quarterback. Crowd doesn't like it. Now there's pushing and shoving on the field. Watch out. Red Raiders defending their quarterback. Capri Doucet squared up against Terrence Steele. No flags on the field that I can see. It'll be third and goal at the four. Jordan Evans met Patrick Mahomes at the four, drove him backwards, and then four of his friends in white jerseys came to help. And they drove Mahomes into the turf. Sooners might have gotten lucky there. You see that a lot, though. I don't know that that's a, one that you can call very often. Pistol formation. Timeout call. Patrick Mahomes. The play clock was getting Ted away from him. First time out of the half. 7.27 to go first quarter. 13-0 OU. But Tech has the ball. Third and two from the four. Mahomes with instructions to his wideouts. He's got it. Handoff up the middle, goes Ward into the end zone. Touchdown. Pretty easy. DeLeon Ward, first career touchdown for the freshman. And it's 13 to 6. Plenty of movement there from the Texas Tech offensive line, pushing the Sooners off the ball. They folded a lineman as well, created an extra gap on the inside, brought a fullback across the formation, just messing with the run fits for those uh, Sooner linebackers. Clayton Hatfield, great kicker. We saw him make it from 61 with plenty of room to spare in the pregame. He has missed a couple of extra points this year. There's the extra point attempt, and it's good. So as expected, we got us a shootout. 7.23 to go first quarter. It's now Oklahoma 13 and Texas Tech 7. You're reliving the inside as well. So you got to stay ready. got to stay prepared out there defensively. Westbrook and Jones deep for OU. First kickoff by Michael Barden blows a touchback. Here's his second try. The approach, toe to leather, high and a little shorter. It'll get into the end zone. DD three yards deep will take a knee. And the Sooners again will start on the 25. Toby, I did just want to follow up real quick. Stephen Parker, the second, no other issues. When he came over to the sideline, they just double-checked with him. He said, I'm fine. We watched the medical replay. It was a non-contact deal when he was trying to reach out and make a play. So, again, I, I guess we can kind of put a wrap on any concerns with that for now. Stephen Parker, the second, good to go. Geno Lewis into the game for the first time. Slot right, Westbrook wide right. Nick Basquin in the game for the first time, slot left. And Dahu Green now wearing number two, wide left. Mixing the running back. First to 10 from the 25. Man in motion, Basquin behind the formation. Inside handoff, cut up by Mixon. Short gain to the 27. Pickup of only two on first down on the ground. It was Malik Jenkins on the stop. Second and eight. Joe Mixon, a 56-yard touchdown catch. D.D. Westbrook, a 49-yard touchdown catch so far for OU. This their third possession. Out of the shotgun. Baker's got it. He will hand it off again. Up the middle. Mixon's got more room this time to the 30. Oh, they grabbed him by the ankle at the 32. Give him five. It'll be third down and three. Jordan Brooks, freshman linebacker from Houston on the tackle. 
Oklahoma one for one on third downs tonight. As Mark Andrews checks in. Tight end to the right. Two straight mix and runs leaves third and three. There's the snap. Baker's going to throw. Looking middle, throws across the middle, caught by D.D. First down at the 43, and he's tackled at the 44. D.J. Polite Bray with the stop. A 12-yard pickup for D.D. And Baker waits until D.D. clears the second slant window before he fires it. That's great presence of mind there by Baker, and it's great protection up front. Let him be able to hold that ball just a step longer maybe than he wanted to originally. Diamond formation. Sooners quickly burst into formation. Play action. Baker back to pass. Looking left. Looking deep. Now he's caught. They got him in the backfield. They got away. Scrambling. Back to the left. He gets away again. Looking. Lobs out. Caught by Andrews. 45. Makes a cut at midfield and he's tackled in Texas Tech territory. Baker Cadabra. How did he get out of that one? They had him dead to rights twice and somehow Baker got out and found Andrews for a nine-yard pickup. The pressure wasn't all that bad. He just said everybody was covered initially, and he had to hang in there longer than he intended to. It's smart by Andrews, too. He leaks out whenever Baker scrambles to the right, knowing his quarterback may eventually come back to his side of the field. <laughs> oh, that was classic Mayfield right there. Second and one. Baker's got it. He's going to let Joe do the work this time up the middle, looking for a hole. He's got enough for a first down as he takes it to the 44. Needed one, got three, moved the chains. Westbrook already three catches, 74 yards in this game, and the touchdown bomb. It's the seventh touchdown of over 40 yards for D.D. this year already. No sooner has ever done that. He's probably getting antsy out there on the outside. This yeah. drive's gone on too long. Getting, he needs a deep ball. They're getting close to the 40. This is D.D. range. Flowers sets up tight end right, first and 10. Baker's got it. Play action, rolling right. Looking deep, sets up, throws deep down the middle, looking for A.D. Miller. He's got it! Oh, did he hang on? He did not. Oh, it popped out. A.D. Miller had it, and as he came to the turf, the ball popped out. Great throw, great throw. Toby, on that Baker Cadabra play, if you will, or Abra Cabaker, whichever way you want to look at it. Mark Andrews was injured. He's at the attention of head athletic trainer. Actually, it's uh, Doc Jim Hills, who's the director of rehab for the Sooners right now. Jim Hills is there looking up underneath his shoulder pad at his left shoulder right now. So we'll keep an eye on Mark Andrews. He looks to be in some pain right now as he's being tended to by the Sooner athletic trainers. Yeah, we can answer this question. If you are worried about Baker being overhyped tonight, he is dead on early on. There's the snap. Handoff. Mixon makes a cut up the middle. Makes a man miss to the 40 to the 36-yard line. And they finally got him down. A couple of nice, nifty little shifts from Mixon that time as he was able to carry it for seven yards. It'll bring third and short. As much as we like our running game against Tech's defense, that affords you the, the ability to take some shots on first down because you still feel like you can chew up a good chunk of that back on second. Jumbo set here. Dimitri Flowers, Carson Meyer both in, tight end to the right. Flowers turns around and says something to Baker. Third and three. Baker now turns around and says something to Joe. A lot of communication before this snap. They've got it. Hand off Mixon. Looking for a hole. Bounces it outside and he swallowed. A loss. Back at the 40. Mixon couldn't find anywhere. Three-yard loss. It'll bring up fourth and six at the 40. Interesting call here. That's They're going to punt. Kind of a uh, tip-off when you line up in that formation, I think, Toby, with that many yards, just two yards. Get all those blockers in there. They figure you're going to go after it. Cyber going to try to pin them deep here, averaging 42.3 yards a punt on the year. It is Batson lined up at the 10. There's the snap. There's the kick. High up the shoot it goes. Fair catch called for and taken at the 15-yard line. 25-yard punt, no return. 3.08 to go first quarter. Sooners fail to score for the first time as a cricket has made its way into the Sooner radio booth. An they uninvited score, guest. They just dropped it. Texas Tech's third possession and a fumble on their first possession by Giles and a 12-play touchdown drive on their second. This one will start at the 15. Mahomes with two backs, Felton and Ward. 
Three wideouts. Now he sends Ward in motion. Mahomes looks, throws right side. It's incomplete. It was Jordan Parker that was closest to it. Intended for the Red Raiders, number nine, Jonathan Giles. The Sooners, number nine, had a better chance at it. It'll be second and ten. Mahomes sailed that one a little bit. That's kind of not his style. He's typically on on that pass. That's a, just kind of a timing route there, and he missed it. Five wides. Toby Mark Andrews update after this play. Back to pass. Quick throw. Caught at the 15. Makes a man miss. To the 20. Up the sidelines. 25. Dancing to the 30 and out of bounds. Lauderdale. First catch for Devin Lauderdale. It was Jordan Thomas who he jukes. A gain of 16. Go ahead, Chris. Toby, they're taking Mark Andrews back to the locker room for further evaluation. It's a left shoulder, or at least they were getting up underneath the show pad, the shoulder pads, working on that upper left part of his arm. Not good news there. We can see Andrews disappearing up the tunnel as you speak. Back to pass. Mahomes across the middle. Caught at the 40-yard line. Ian Sadler across the 45. He rumbles. And that's just an option route there on the Mike linebacker, Jordan Evans. And uh, if you better get lined up. Yeah, you're right, coach. To the 48, first down, five wides again. Mahomes pulled it down, then throws late, and he threw it away. The Sooners blew up whatever route Texas Tech was trying to run there. Will Johnson, a nice job. Obo was given chase, and Mahomes just dumped it. It'll be second and ten. Back to the play there on uh, the, the last series that got the first down on Jordan Evans. That option route, if you don't lock it down early, they'll go back to that over and over until you can shut it down. Power pistol loaded to the left. Ward at the top of it. Play action. Rolling right. Capri set giving chase. Mahomes is going to fire one deep. He's got a man. It is incomplete. He overthrows Tony Brown at the five-yard line. Brown had broken free from Jordan Thomas, and Mahomes missed it. It'll be third and ten. Dodged a bullet. Texas Tech lines up, lines up again with five wides. Third and ten from their own 48-yard line. Sooners up 13-7. 2 to go first quarter. A wild first quarter in Lubbock. Just what we expected. Watch this number three receiver on Jordan Evans here. Mahomes back to pass. Four-man rush across the middle. It's caught. First down, Giles, 35, outside to the 30, down the sidelines, out of bounds, shy of the 20. Again, soft spot in the Sooner defense is in the middle so far tonight. A pickup of 27. And that was that number three receiver, Jordan Evans and Emmanuel Bill, frustrated with one another right now. They better figure out that zone coverage in the middle of the field or they're just going to keep chewing away at it. The correction, 31-yard pickup to the Sooner 21. Ward in at running back. Overloaded to the left side of the formation here. Three wides. They're going to throw quickly. Caught in the flat at the 20 to the 15. He able to split Sooner defenders. Lauderdale is and take it to the 11. Near another first down. But a flag is down at the line of scrimmage. That formation looked odd. Let's see if this is a formation issue. We're having an awful time tackling some of these people, aren't we? An illegal formation. There were more than four in the backfield. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's still first down. Well, this one's going to stick, it looks like. It'll back it from the 21 to the 26 and take a 10-yard gain off the board. It'll be first and 15. Under two to go first quarter. Five wides. Mahomes has already thrown it 19 times here in the first quarter. Back to pass for the 20th time. Looks middle. Has time. Dumps it out to the right. Caught at the 25. And out of bounds shy of the 20 is Reginald Davis. He got the five yards back and maybe one more. It'll be second and nine. I mean, every snap, Toby, it's like a, a NHL team doing a line change. This Texas Tech offense comes at you in waves with the personnel. Tight end right, offset. Back is Ward. Mason Reed is lined up at tight end. Second and nine. Play action. Mahomes 
throws right and a diving one-handed grab. No incomplete by Reed. It'll be third and nine. Great attempt. Sooners lead 13-7. It has been Oklahoma with the quick strikes tonight and Texas Tech with the methodical drives thus far. Four wides for this third down play. Fans thought Mason Reed caught the ball. They want a replay. None coming yet. It would have been only a two or three yard gain even if it stuck. There's the snap. Back to pass. Four-man rush. Throws across the middle at the end zone. Incomplete. Oh, he throws it behind Reginald Davis. And it will be fourth down. They're going to kick it. Our first non-tortilla thrown on the field. I think our spotter, Greg Tripp Blackwood, caught it as well, too, Toby, as a water bottle just came firing towards the tech end zone where that pass was missed. It looked like Davis was open, but Mahomes missed him. This will be a 37-yard attempt from the right hash for Clayton Hatfield, 5 of 6 on the year. Snap back, hold is down, kick is away, it's got the distance, and it is good. So the Red Raiders get three. And with 106 to go in the first quarter, our new score now Oklahoma 13 and Texas Tech 10. Eight for 146 and two touchdowns. 106 to go in the quarter. Sooners lead is three. They take the field with Mixon at running back. Westbrook to the right. Flowers tied in left. Dahu Green and Geno Lewis split out wide left. Handoff. Mixon has a hole. Cuts right to the 30. Met at the 32. Spins away and falls forward to the 34. A gain of eight or nine on first down for Joe Mixon. DJ Polite Bray brought him down. Didn't get much on the spot there. Nope. They spotted at the 33. That's... Maybe a yard shy. D.D. Westbrook lined up at running back. Now he'll split out slot left. Interesting. Haven't seen that before. Mixon's out there as well. New formation here. Baker inside pitch to Mixon. He's going to run it himself up the middle, and that didn't get much. He doesn't look, he doesn't look good running. He's, he's picking his way too much. Zach Barnes the tackle. Mixon came from the slot into the middle of the field, and... Baker gave him a little forward pitch, almost like a shovel pass. It didn't pick up anything. Here's third and two. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. They don't have to snap. Looks like they're going to, though. Here's five seconds. There's the snap. Final play of the first quarter. Baker looks left. Nowhere to throw it. Flush to the right. Spins back away. He's got three guys chasing him. Trying to get to the far sideline. Throws late. It is caught. Did he get the first down? It's Chino Lewis. Nope. Incomplete. Out of bounds. He caught it, but he was forced out of bounds on the catch. It'll be fourth and two on the final play of the first quarter. So the Sooners have a while to think about it here, although the ball is at their own 33-yard line. As we head to the second in Lubbock, Sooners 13, Red Raiders 10. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by U.S. Fleet. Emmanuel Bill, his responsibility is get out, find the number one wide receiver, and be slant help underneath. And he just goes flat out right past it and misses it and opens up that window. you got to be a lot better against this Tech offense. Snap back. And it is indeed a kick. High spiraling. Good kick by Seibert. It drives the return man back to the 15-yard line. Batson breaks outside. Steps out of a tackle at the 20. Up to the 25. Here comes two flags flying as Batson gets it back to the 30. That was a 52-yard yard punt. And I think it's going to be moved back a bit. Greg Blackwood says Will Johnson received a block in the back. Blackwood, of course, our trusty spotter. We've had some long officials meetings tonight. Let's see what this one is. An illegal block in the back by number 26 of the receiving team. It's a 10 yards penalty from the spot of the foul and it's first down. Third Red Raider penalty tonight. OU has been whistled for one so far. 13-10 Sooners lead. They'll move it back to the 12. Well, Texas Tech's last three drives, they've started at their own 16, 15, and now 12 yard lines. Red Raiders in all black, Sooners in all white. It's a good old fast fashion western good guy, bad guy showdown tonight here in Lubbock. 
Tech moving left to right here in quarter two. Four wide receivers. Here comes a blitz off the edge. Handoff and Oboe's got him. DeLeon Ward swallowed up by Okoronkwo as soon as he got the football. A gain of only one. Tech goes quickly. Four wides to the left. Snap. Mahomes going to throw. Pump fake. Looking across the middle. Dumps it. And he, lo- he missed his man. That was not thrown well. Well, that's on the wide receiver there. Zone coverage. He's supposed to sit that down, and he kept running through that zone. Uh, so Mahomes is pointing at his helmet there, telling him to be smart, recognize coverage. Kiki QT, the intended receiver. It's third down and nine. This is a big, big down right here. Red Raiders four of five on third downs tonight. Sooner's a chance to get the ball right back here, leading 13 to 10. Four wide. Sooner substituted a whole bunch of new bodies into the game, including Curtis Bolton. Khalil Houghton in as well. Back to pass. Four-man rush. He throws left side, and it is almost intercepted. Oh, Stephen Parker was right there at the 22-yard line, and the Sooners have forced a punt. Oh, Parker is mad at himself. He got two hands on that football at the 22 and couldn't hang on. Mm. Teddy, two weeks ago, we had Tim Kish on the coach's show, on the coach's corner, and he talked about Curtis Bolton being ready. He'd had a great inside rush there that forced Mahomes to throw that ball without anything on it in the near pick. And it looked like some type of pre-built package that they had whenever they got him in third and long, maybe backed up situation, they could put those guys in and let him rush. Didi stands on his own 45, first punt of the night. High end over end, very short. Westbrook says, everybody watch out, watch out. It bounces sideways, takes a sooner bounce to the 41-yard line in Tech territory. Field field goal. Oklahoma, though, has just forced a three and out, and they take over after a short punt at the Tech 41-yard line. Moving right to left. Baker's got Mixon behind him and to his right. Flowers tight end right. Three wide outs. Snap. Baker. He will play action. Looks across the middle, fires. Didi's got it, 25-yard line to the 20. Bounces outside, 15 to the 10, to the 5, and he barrels his way inside the 5-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Oh, but a flag is down back at the line of scrimmage. Hold everything. And an eligible player downfield, number 78 of the offense. It's a 5-yard penalty, and it's still first down. Whoo, that is a big one. Sooners would have had it at the one-yard line. Mm -mm -mm. Orlando Brown called as an ineligible man downfield. I would imagine he fired out aggressively to fake the play they called, and the defensive guy got away from him and left him standing high and dry. But that route was nothing more than just a simple slant, and D.D. Westbrook so explosive and so fast, just no match for him. Power pistol loaded right on first and 15, now back at the 46. Baker's got it. Hand off Mixon, running right, cuts it up, has a hole to the 40. Watch out, to the 30, down the sidelines, 20, to the 15. Andrews throws him a block. He stays on his feet, and he somersaults into the end zone. Touchdown Sooners, Joe Mixon. 46 yards, blasting through a hole over the right side of the line, racing down the far sideline. Mark Andrews provided the final block. And then Mixon showed off his gymnastic skills as he went somersaulting into the end zone. Second touchdown tonight for Joe. Just absolutely nobody home for the Texas Tech defense over the right side. Give credit to that offensive line firing off. Saw Orlando Brown get up to the next level and hold that backer on the backside so he couldn't get over the top. Is that a little better, uh, Coach Merv? Or better, I thought. Blasted through that hole. Extra point is good. 13-31 to go. It's the third long touchdown strike tonight for OU. This one on the ground. That was an enjoy vision. Two minutes to 2020. So 20 to 10 OU, still 13-31 to go till halftime. Sooners to kick off the other way for the first time tonight. Toby, you mentioned it too. Mark Andrews back out here and was the lead blocker. He looks like no worse for the wear, ready to roll for the rest of this game. There's the boot, toe to leather, line drive. It'll go through the end zone and out of bounds. Nice kick by Cyber. Tech will start on the 25. Sooner football brought to you by OG&E. Power at the speed of life. 
Oklahoma defense coming off a three and out. Let's see what they've got in store this time. This is about as good of a starting field position as Texas Tech has had tonight at the 25. De Leon Ward has been the featured back so far tonight for Tech. They had one of their running backs announce that he's transferring midweek this week, Corey Dauphine, a redshirt freshman. He splits out far left, five wides now. Mahomes wants to throw. Four-man rush, flushed, under pressure, to the right, throws late, incomplete. Reginald Davis tried to make a diving catch out of bounds and couldn't hang on. It'll be second and ten. I like that timing on a linebacker blitz. It sort of gets those linemen doubled up on people, and he can get through there and bother the quarterback really a lot more than they can. That is five straight incompletions for Patrick Mahomes. Here comes that package I think you were talking about, Teddy, is Curtis Bolton checks into the game, and Khalil can, Houghton as well. He can really close on the quarterback. He really can. Five wides. Oh, okay. Early movement by the left tackle, Terrence Steele. Obo jumped across to make him pay for it. A false start by number 78 of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's still second down. And they're worried about it, too. You can tell that tackle was, was quick to get out of there. Just straight man-to-man -man coverage across the back end with uh, Ahmad Thomas being the single high safety there. This is a pretty aggressive play call. Look for a screen or something to counter. That's four penalties already. Remember, the Red Raiders average just shy of 10 a game. OU's been whistled for two. Five wides on second and 15 now from the 20. Mahomes, four-man rush, twist up front. He throws deep down the near sidelines. It is caught. Oh, what a catch. Out near midfield, Kiki QT with a PI, Toby. Flag, a flag and our guys are clapping. Holding by number 76 wow. of the offense. The penalty is half wow. the distance to the goal, and it's still second down. Well, that's similar to the Sooners' last possession in which a big pass to Westbrook was taken off the board. This would have been about a 30-yard pickup to QT, but back-to-back -back penalties moves it back to the 10. That hold was the guy blocking Bolton there. Bolton put a nice little move on the guy. He had to hold him to keep him from getting to the quarterback. Sooners go back to their, I guess you'd call it, basic package now as Bolton and Houghton run off the field, Doucette and Gallimore back in. So it's second down and 25 from the 10-yard line. Mahomes wants to throw. Quick pass out near flat, caught at the 20. Out of bounds goes Lucky. Reginald Davis as Jordan Parker whiffed on the tackle. But as Davis spun out, he stepped out at the 23. Guys, I'm telling you, Oboe is cooking this left tackle on every single snap. He's going to get some quarterback hurries and quarterback sacks tonight, I promise you. Third down and 12. Mahomes in the shotgun. Sooner showing blitz again with Johnson and Okoronkwo. Mahomes wants to think things over. Looks back at Cliff Kingsbury. Seven to snap it. Now he's got it. Four-man rush. Flush to the right. Looking. Pointing. Looking. Under pressure. Gallimore's got him. Oh, he doesn't down. go down. Mahomes gets away. Flings it deep down the field, and it is caught. First down at the 37, Ian Sadler. Wow. Neville Gallimore had his hands around the waist of Mahomes, tried to fling him down, and he wouldn't go. Quick snap. Mahomes rolling right, wants to throw again, and he hobbling as he throws it into the dirt. Boy, Mahomes looked like he was limping on that play. Emmanuel Beal, the pressure. It'll be second and ten. They were trying to go quick and take a little uh, shot down the field deep. Uh, defended nicely there on the other sideline by Jordan Parker there, trying to take advantage of that little quick change. That was a Mayfieldian play by Mahomes there to get away. Fantastic. Second and ten. Ward goes in motion. Mahomes thinks about running. Now Doucette hits him, throws across the middle, caught at midfield, and tripped up at the 45-yard line. Mahomes threw that right before Capri Doucette blew him up. And he found Mason Reed wide open in Sooner territory. And that's over the middle again. The linebackers, Bill and Jordan Evans, are having a lot of trouble in that zone coverage right now. Jordan Evans has to carry that all the way back across the field. He let him go. There was no one in the other zone. 20-yard gain to the Sooner 43. 20 to 10 Sooners as we hit the 12-minute mark. Second quarter. First and 10, Mahomes wants to throw, looks left, head and shoulder fake, looking deep, has all day, thinks about running, spins away, now he's under pressure, lobs back this way, and he just threw it into the sidelines. Austin Roberts hit him as he threw. Second and 10. 
That was the 30th pass already for Patrick Mahomes tonight. <laughs> He's 17 of 30, and we still have 11.46 to go till halftime. He's on pace for about a 75 pass night. Here comes the Bolton and Houghton package. Ted Lehman, I'm going to assign you the responsibility of coming up with a name for this package. First time we've seen it this year. 20 to 10 Sooners on second and 10. They reset the play clock as both teams substituted. Five wide. Snap. Mahomes looks left. Here comes pass 31. Head and shoulder fake. No, he's going to run it himself. <laughs> and they've got him. It's a sack. Back at the 46. Obo Okronkwo gets his first of the night. Seventh of the season. I think you just called that, Ted, that eventually he was going to get there, and he did. He's been great, man. He's beaten that left tackle like a drum. I mean, it's just a matter of time. He's probably going to make more as the night goes on. They just can't block him. So third down and 12, they spot it at the 45. Red Raiders have to get it to the 33 for a first down. Ward standing to the left of Mahomes, trying to help out with the blocking here. Back to pass. Four-man rush, throws left side, he has a man. First down to the 30, to the 25, Devin Lauderdale. Oh, he broke free, I think, from Jordan Thomas over there. Third and 12, and they pick it up with a 20-yard gain. Quick snap, pistol, rolling right, Mahomes under pressure. He's just going to chunk it away again as Jordan Evans and D.J. Ward were in pursuit. Second and ten. I mean, Tech has just said, forget the run game. We are going all Mahomes tonight. They have a total of 258 passing yards and two rushing yards tonight. Pistol formation. Back to pass. He fakes a pass. Now he's going to run it himself up the middle. Hit sideways and knocked down. Jordan Evans took his feet out from under him at the 25 with a hard hit. Mahomes is either struggling a bit, Toby. You mentioned how he was yeah. kind of limping a bit, or he's gassed because every time he's back in the shotgun, he's doubled over, and he took a hard shot there. He's a great athlete, but he's laboring when he runs right now. Third and nine from the 24 in Sooner territory. Sooners lead 20 to 10. Four wide receivers set. Mahomes looks back at the sidelines. Signals to his wide receivers to the left. Signals again. Now waits for the snap. He's got it. Looks right. Throws right. Caught on the slant at the 16 and tackled immediately. Reginald Davis, that'll be one yard shy of a first down. Jordan Parker, the nice tackle. Fourth and one. They're going forward quickly. Mahomes up under center. Snap. Puts his head down. Plows ahead himself, trying to get to the 15-yard line. Did he get enough? Yeah, he got enough. Needed one. And got one and a half. First down. Quarterback sneak. And there's a Sooner that's not up yet. Face down, just now rolling over. I think it's, uh, is it Neville? Romar. Romar, Toby, earlier they had worked on his ankle. In fact, they retaped his left ankle during one of the breaks when the offense had the football. So, uh, again, not trying to speculate on what the injury is because he's on his side right now. The athletic training staff rushed out to check on him, but he had been having that ankle checked and retaped during the last couple of series for the Sooner and, offense. And that's tough. Those plays, you got guys in front of you, the offensive lineman trying to pile in and push you back, and then your linebackers are coming up behind you and trying to force the pile. All those legs get tangled up in there. It can be tough on the feet and ankles. Time out on the field. We'll keep it here. 9.43 to go. Second television. Oklahoma leads 20 to 10. This is the formation they scored on. Just ran a simple little split zone last time and creased us up the middle. Here we go. Snap. Handoff Ward. Running left. Looks for a hole. Slithers through one for a short gain to around the 11. Amani Bledsoe the stop. Freshman from Lawrence, Kansas. He does a great job running the field right there. That's showing some athleticism there by big number 72. Second and seven. Pistol formation. 
Trips to the right side of the field. That's the wide side. Mahomes has it. He's going to keep it himself around the left side. He's got a block to the five, and he's into the end zone. Patrick Mahomes looked more athletic on that carry. An 11-yard touchdown run. That's his eighth touchdown run of the year. He didn't look hurt that play, did he? Nope. That was that end-over formation that we saw so much against Ohio State where all there is is a tackle over here on this near side. If you're not careful, you'll run out of defensive backs on that short side to support the play. Hatfield for the extra point. He'll be kicking into the double T scoreboard at the south end of the stadium. He drives it, and it's good. And with 9.06 to go till halftime, it's now 20 to 17. Oh, you. Well, the Sooner offense has been this is a good one. Best of the night. Through the end zone, tortillas fly. Sooners will start again on the 25. Ohio State leads Penn State 9 0, late second. In Happy Valley, Ole Miss leads LSU 7-0 midway through the first in Death Valley. It was a 14-play, 75-yard scoring drive for Tech, their third double-digit play scoring drive of the night. That took 425. Mahomes had missed on five straight passes, then went seven for nine the rest of the drive. Cool scene right now. All the phone lights on. Did somebody call for this, Chris, or why did this happen all of a sudden? I think it was something they called for on the big screen. Baker in the shotgun. Play action. Back to pass. Looks right. Still looking. Now he throws right side. Caught at the first down marker by Dimitri Flowers and out of bounds. Boy, he really wanted to go to Mark Andrews. Coming down the middle of the field, down the seam. But Andrews wasn't open, so he settled for a 10-yard strike or an 11-yard strike. Great protection. To Dimitri Flowers. First and 10. Power pistol. Snap. It is a handoff to Mixon trying to get to the corner. They got him hemmed in. He's going to bounce it back to the right. Stiff arm. Oh, he broke away to the 40, 45, to the 50, down the sidelines. Jumps over a man, and he's out of bounds at the 40. And then he's tackled late in the Sooner bench. I don't see a flag down. What a run by Joe Mixon. Oh, my. What a run. He wanted to go left, and there was nothing there. So a reverse skate went back to the right. Stiff arm, Jashawn Johnson got to the corner and took it all the way to the Tech 38. 26 yards. He's going to get a break. Well-deserved. Abdul Adams into the game. Nope, Mixon stays out there. Double backs. Baker's got it. Play action across the middle. He's got Andrews this time. 26, cuts the corner. 25, and he's tackled at the 23. 15 yards, another first down. Banks the tackle for Tech. Sooners are threatening to move into the red zone for the first time tonight. Quick snap. Handoff. Abdul Adams first carry. He's going to be dropped for a loss. Malik Jenkins bursts through to tackle him for a two-yard loss at the 25. That wasn't his fault. Somebody didn't block the guy on the edge. 7.50 to go till halftime. Oklahoma 20, Texas Tech 17. Power pistol loaded right. Three wideouts. Dimitri Flowers now moves to the left of Baker Mayfield. Baker's got it. Option play. Reverse pitch. Westbrook coming back to the right. Come Looks on, like right. he wants to throw. Now he's going to run it himself. To the 20, to the 15, and he's to the 10. He was loading up to throw. He was cocking the rifle. Couldn't find a guy, and he decided to carry it himself and carried it all the way to the nine-yard line. It'll be first and goal. And Tech had some guys over there, but they gave him so much respect. They didn't want to come up and attack the line of scrimmage because they know the shiftiness of D.D. Westbrook, so they let him get a bunch of yards before they came in and try and finally make the play. Creative play there. That was an option left. They gave the little inside pitch to Westbrook coming the other way, and he wanted to throw off of him. First and goal from the nine, the Sooners' first trip into the Delta Dental red zone tonight. The back is Mixon. Snap, Mayfield, handoff, Joe up the middle to the six, and he's down. Toby Bob Stoops and Lincoln Riley came kind of stalking down the sidelines. Looked like they wanted to call a timeout. Probably didn't like the formation or what was left on the play clock. But Bob Stoops, just before he asked for the timeout, thought better of it. So the Sooners ended up getting that play, almost a near timeout for Oklahoma. Second and goal from the six. 
Two receivers left. Baker's got it. Play action. Looking in zone. Under pressure. Lobs end zone. It is broken up. Mark Andrews, the intended receiver. DJ Polite Bray got a hand in there. It wasn't interference, was it? It'll be third and goal. No flag. Mayfield had him, but the pressure, he wasn't able to get rid of the ball whenever he wanted to. And by the time he could recock and let it go, someone had finally got the coverage over to Andrews in time. Third and goal from the six. Boy, field goals don't feel very valuable tonight. Sooners trying to get it into this north end zone at Jones AT&T Stadium. Andrews and Green to the left, Westbrook to the right. Flowers tied in left, mixing the back. Baker wants the football. Eric Wren gives it to him. Back to pass. Looks in zone. Throws in zone. Battered away. Looking for Didi. Keenan Ward slapped it out of the air. It'll be fourth down, and here comes Cybert. And Texas Tech dials up a big blitz there. They bring the house on Baker Mayfield. Again, he had a guy open for a brief second, but the pressure, he wasn't able to deliver the football. Cybert, six of nine on the year. This will be a shorty. 23 yards inside the right hash. Holder is Connor McGinnis. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is away, and it is good. Austin Seibert has now made one field goal exactly in all seven games this year. And the Oklahoma... 23-17 23-17 Sooners. Here's the kickoff. Seibert winded his back. High end over end. It'll get into the end zone and through the end zone for a touchback. Sooner fans listening tonight all over the world. Atlanta, Georgia, Willow Springs, Missouri. Marshall in Iowa. Jan in Kansas. Vince in Italy. Eric in Elk City, Oklahoma. Don't want to ignore our Listeners in the Sooner State, Elizabeth in Louisiana. Gary is in Amman, Jordan. Cindy in Franklin, Tennessee. Thank you wherever you have your ears on tonight. Been a wild one. Exactly what we expected here on the High Plains tonight. 23-17 Sooner, still 6-14 to go till halftime. Tech from their own 25 in a diamond formation with DeLeon Ward at the top. Snap. Mahomes wants to throw. Straight drop. Throws right side. Taking a deep shot and he overthrew his man. Reginald Davis, the intended receiver. And Devonta Devonta Lampkin is in the game, Chris. Good report. He's number 57 if you're listening in stadium or listening to the television with the sound down. First appearance tonight for Devonta Lampkin, or this year. And he provided pressure on that play. Bolton package is in here. Bolton package, that's the best you could come up with? Short time. Mahomes flush to the left. Flag is down. Throws late. He's got a man, and this is going to be a touchdown. But there's a flag in the backfield. Kiki QT will take it all the way to the end zone for a 75-yard touchdown. But this is coming back. They tackled the man who the Bolton package is named after, Curtis Bolton. Holding by number 76 of the offense. It's a 10-yard penalty, and it's still second down. Penalty number six already on Tech, and that one cost him a touchdown. If nothing else, this package has created a big mismatch on the inside where that guard just does not uh, have the ability to get back and block Bolton before he, uh, you know, has to lock onto him and hold him. Of all of the predictions and analysis that is made of a football game going into it, I mean, we got so many sports radio stations and Twitter experts in the world. Did anybody mention Curtis Bolton and Devontae Lampkin as keys for the Sooner defense tonight coming into this one? No is the answer to that. Second and 20 from the 15. Snap. Mahomes going to throw. Twist up front. Throws left side. Incomplete. Sooner's got pressure on him. Pass intended for Tony Brown. And it's third and 20 from the 15-yard line. Five fifty-two to go. Twenty-three seventeen, Oklahoma. Red Raiders are six of nine on third downs tonight. Sooners dancing around up front, showing pressure. Snap, 
Here they come, four-man rush. Bolton breaks through, misses. Mahomes throws late across the middle. Diving catch is made at the 39. Kiki QT, great grab. Khalil Hotton had pretty good coverage there. And Bolton's hurt. Curtis Bolton seated back at the 14-yard line, not yet to his feet. And now he lays down. A 24-yard pickup on third and 20. Great throw by Mahomes. And an even better catch by Kiki QT. And this is huge because I'm telling you, again, I know you guys saw it upstairs, but the guard, he can't even get a hand on Bolton on that last pass rush. And Bolton goes straight to the quarterback unabated. You know, and Mahomes makes a nice move to get out of there, but this is going to be a huge loss for the defense. Let's take a quick break. 5.45 to go till halftime. Tonight's game sponsor, U.S. Fleet Tracking. This is Sooner Football from Learfield. Brought to you by Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law, the law firm you should turn to for all your personal injury needs. They are reviewing the catch by QT on third and 20, the 24-yard grab across the middle. We've all seen the replay now, and we have differing opinions. What would you think, Ted, Chris? Well, I, I think, you know, maybe it does hit the ground. The views I've seen, I don't know that there's enough. To, I think they go with the call. I don't know if they confirm it, but I think that maybe the call stands. They've already got the change move and everything. They're going to leave it right there where it's at. Bet you. I think it's incomplete. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. First down. And I was wrong. By the way, Toby, Curtis Bolton came over to the bench, leaned over, got a little pep talk from Jerry Schmidt, Scotty Kolak. He's ready to jump back in on that Bolton package whenever the Sooners need him. All right, so first and 10 from the 39. Five wide. Sooners lead 23-17. Tech could take the lead with a touchdown on this drive. Man in motion left to right. Mahomes fakes a handoff. Has time. Throws deep down the right side. He's looking for it all. It is broken up. Flags are down. Will Johnson going to be called for pass interference on Reginald Davis. The pass was underthrown. If Will had turned around, he had a chance. Pass interference by number 12 of the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. When that guy's got a couple of step beat on you, a couple of steps ahead of you, you can't make time to turn around. Yeah, That's you're a problem. Right. <laughs> and I'll take it to the 46 in Sooner territory. Penalty number three on OU. First and 10, Red Raiders. Mahomes, 36 pass attempts and counting in the first half. He's 10 yards away from 300. Mahomes fakes a handoff, throws left side, looking for it all again, and he overthrew his man by five yards. Devin Lauderdale working on Jordan Thomas. That looked like a golf shot where you catch a flyer. That ball just came rocketing out of Mahomes' right arm. Well, the last deep ball, he threw it off his back foot, kind of fading away from it, couldn't get everything on it. That one, he stepped into it and sailed it. Second and 10. And whistles and a timeout called by Oklahoma here. Oh, someone on the field not coming off or getting a signal for personnel. Five wides, man in motion, left to right is QT. He'll set up right side, so a four-receiver bundle down here. Mahomes back to pass for the 38th time. Gallimore giving chase. Steps inside, throws across the middle. He's got a man at the 25. That's QT to the 20. Still gets away. Now Beal's got him by the jersey. Down at the 20, a 26-yard pickup. And middle of the field. Zone coverage, middle of the field on our inside backers. He just finds the spot right in between them and nestles down. First and 10, nose of the football on the edge of the red zone. Mahomes rolling right, throws it right side toward the end zone. Intercepted! Stephen Parker picked it off at the two-yard line. He almost had one in the first quarter, and he got him one in the second. It's the second turnover caused by the Sooner defense tonight, and they will take over at their own two. Parker, who did not have a pick in his entire career till this year, that's his second of the season. Huge play there. Terrible by Mahomes. That was like a screen or something called up 
at the line of scrimmage, and he pumped like three times before he made that throw deep. His guy was so open that he was backpedaling, waiting on the ball to get there. It gave Stephen Parker plenty of time to close. Baker's got to be careful here. He'll take this shotgun snap four yards deep in the end zone. Three wides, tight end right, Andrews. Back is Mixon. Snap. Handoff, Joe, over the right side, has a hole to the 5. Outside he goes to the 10. Watch out, 15 to the 20, to the 25, and he's banged down at the 35-yard line. Joe Mixon, working on a monster night, says, I need a breather. From the 2 to the 35, a 33-yard pickup by Joe Mixon. Mixon now 142 yards rushing in the first half. Remember, he had the... 56 yards receiving already in this game. Hand off Adams. He's got a hole. 40, 45 midfield, and he's knocked down. On the ground, the Sooners gashing him late in the second quarter. Jashon Johnson, the stop. A 16-yard pickup as they'll put it down at the Texas Tech 49-yard line. Two plays, 49 yards all on the ground. Shotgun snap. Baker wants to throw. Does. Caught by D.D. at the line of scrimmage. Between defenders to the 44. That's a pickup of five. Catch number four for Westbrook. 79 yards he's got so far tonight. It'll be second and four. As we dip under four minutes to go to the break. 23-17 Sooners. They have forced only one Red Raider punt tonight, but the two turnovers have been huge. The fumble by Giles on their opening drive and the interception by Mahomes on the most recent one. Snap, Baker looks right, throws right, batted down. Looked like number 99, Mike Lynn Thomas got it. And it will be third down and four. Mayfield, 10 of 16, 178, two touchdowns. Oklahoma's only two of five on third down so far tonight. They came into tonight 55% on third downs in Big 12 play. Adams will be the back. Basquin is in the game. They're to bring them all. Mr. Third down, Nick Basquin, to the near side of the field. He goes in motion. Snap. Baker, back to pass. Four-man rush, throws left side. He's got Basquin. First down at the 30, and he's got him at the 29. Mr. Third down does it again. A 14-yard pickup by Basquin. Move the chains. He's got nine catches on the year. We'll have to look up how many of those have been for third down pickups. At least five. Snap. Baker. Handoff. Adams. Met in the backfield. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and maybe another yard. Yep, they're not going to give him that extra yard. They're going to say down at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Broderick Washington, the stop. 3.05 to go, first half. Oklahoma needs to, or would like to score here, but a little bit of strategy in play concerning the clock, too. You know what the Texas Tech offense can do in a hurry. You'd like to not give them much time if you can here. Second and 10. Looks like a little confusion. Now Flowers moves tight end right. 2.42 to go. Baker's got it. Play action. Under pressure. Spins out. Coming back. Trying to run it himself. Needs to throw it. Does. And he threw it away. And we've got an injured Red Raider at the 40. I think this linesman may throw a flag on it. Got a flag too, Toby. I wonder if that might be a personal foul on the Sooners for a crackback attempt. Or block. Possibly, since it was the line judge that threw the flag, maybe a guy downfield. The ball was legally grounded. Therefore, there is no foul for an ineligible downfield. Good spot, Teddy. He right on it, wasn't he? The injured Red Raider is Taylor Nunez, number 95. 232 on the clock, 23-17 OU. They face third and 10 from the Texas Tech 29 when play resumes as Nunez is to his feet. Whether you're sacked by the sniffles or blitzed by the flu, Mercy can help get you back in the game. Find a physician, mercy.net slash doctor. Mercy, your life is our life's work. Boomer Sooner. All right, third down. Michael Jones 
into the game. Slot left. Dahu Green wide left. DD to the right side along with Mark Andrews. Now Mixon will join them. A five wide formation. Sooner's got to get just beyond the 19 yard line for a first down. Baker looking back at Lincoln Riley. Plenty of time to snap it. Still 20 on the play clock. Red Raiders showing blitz. Here they come. Quick throw. Caught by DD at the 30. Darts between to the 25. And he's hit hard at the 22. Oh, he broke away down to the 20. It looked like he was down at the 22, but he kept his feet, was able to get a couple of more yards. It'll be fourth and one at the 20. Oklahoma might go for it here, Toby. I think they will. Looks like they want to go quick. Fourth and one. Sooner's going to go quick. They are just one of five on fourth downs this year. Snap. Handoff. Mixon up the middle, and I don't think he got it. It'll depend on the spot. The line judge has given him a really good spot, Toby. I think he might have it. They're it's spotting. Gotta be, it's got to be clear across, across sure. the 19 it's to sure be does. good. It looks like he got to the 19, but he, Teddy's right. He needed to get a little beyond the 19. They got a heck of a spot based on where he was, don't you think? Ted, Ted's right on the line. Uh, it was a it was a fair spot. I mean, it, maybe even a little bit better for for Mixon than where he was. That's not going to get it. You know what we're going to have here, guys? We are going to have our first measurement of the season. That I can remember. Can you remember any, Trip? And the reason I say that is because you're the specialist here. Trip says it's short. They're going to stretch the chains, and it's just short. And the Sooners have turned it over on downs. And that could be huge here with two minutes to go for this tech offense. All right, Toby. One injury update. Obo Okronkwo is currently chatting with head athletic trainer Scott Anderson. Also, Doc Schnabel is over there as well, too. Dr. Brock Schnabel, he will not be in on this series. Not real sure if it's a fatigue concerns. They haven't put him through any concussion protocol. They were trying to make sure he was getting fluids in him, talking to Doc, uh, to Tiffany Bird. But Bra uh, Obo will not be in on this series. So it'll be the freshman, Mark Jackson Jr., on that outside rush spot. Haven't seen Mark Jackson in about four games. He's out there. First and 10 from the 19. They've got 2.03 to work with. Trailing by six. Mahomes back to pass. Four-man rush. Throws it deep down the left sidelines. It is incomplete. Looking for QT. QT runs into the bench where he is met by make Baker Mayfield and friends. Baker chunked the ball from one sideline to the other. Back to Texas Tech. That ball ended up in the Sooner bench. He threw it all the way cross field to the Tech bench. Second and ten. Daly on Ward, the back. Clock is stopped with 158 to go. Mahomes awaiting further instructions. Now he's got him. There's the snap. Sooners bring a blitz. He throws across the middle. QT's got it. Hit hard and down. Shy of the first down. Will Johnson provided the hit at the 27. It'll be third and two. Kiki QT has been a popular target tonight. Third and two. Third catch, 58 yards for QT. Five wides here. Back to pass. Mahomes steps up in the pocket. Flushed. Going to run it himself. He's got the first down across the 30 as he spun down at the 34. Mark Jackson provided the tackle. Mahomes ran it himself for the first down. 122 to go in the half. Tech has two timeouts whenever they want to use them. Back to pass. Mahomes steps up. Wants to run again. Does. Weaves around a man to the 40 to midfield and slides down. Jordan, Jordan Evans. Evans. I mean, has him wide open there in the middle of the field. And doesn't even make an attempt at the tackle. 16-yard gain. Now they're going to move it back to the 48. So give me 14 on the run. First and 10 from the Tech 48. Quick throw. Caught in the flat at the 45 by Batson to the 50. Short gain. They'll spot it near the 45 in Sooner territory. 55 seconds to go, and Tech's going to use a timeout here. Texas Tech calls their second timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. 30 seconds. 55 seconds to go till halftime. Oklahoma leads Texas Tech 23-17. Red Raiders have it second and three 
at the Sooner 45-yard line. Chris Plank, you got a medical update? A visibly frustrated Obo Okronkwo was watching the last play on the big screen, kind of slammed his foot down or his uh, hand down on the bench, wanting to get back in. They've taken his helmet from him for now, so we'll see what the prognosis might be for him, Teddy, for the rest of the half. Defense got to step up here, though. Yeah, and you can already see his presence missed out there. Jackson has already had a couple of mess-ups here in this Bolt pack or Bolton package, and he's messed up a couple of the blitzes, leaving Bolton upset several times. Timeout's over. Tech's got one remaining. They go five wide here on second and three. Mahomes changing the play. Yeah, he's going over to the other side. Back to pass. Looking right. Throws across the middle. Incomplete. Pass was low. Jordan Parker, good coverage on Reginald Davis. It'll be third down with 50 seconds to go. 5-0. First half closing in on two hours. Empty set again on third down. Mahomes has got it. Throws right side, caught at the 42 to the 40. First down, breaks away to the 30, 25 and out of bounds, QT. Houghton was the guy that missed the tackle. 22-yard pickup, first down to the Sooner 23 with 43 seconds to go. That's an eternity with their offense, Toby. Plenty of time. Five wide. Popular formation on this drive for Tech. Mahomes has thrown it 44 times in the first half now. 44. Another one probably coming here. He's got it. Four-man rush. Steps up in the pocket. Throws right side. And fingertip catch. And a touchdown by Jonathan Giles. A fantastic grab by the sophomore, Jonathan Giles, in the near corner of the end zone. And with 37 seconds to go, the Red Raiders can take the lead with an extra point. That is the 10th touchdown of the year for Jonathan Giles, who once again takes the lead over D.D. Westbrook, who has none. They are taking a look at it just to make sure, but I don't think there's much to look at here. Great fingertip grab by Giles, and he's in. And they have thumbs up the play. 23 all. Will Johnson hobbles off the field. Extra point attempt by Clayton Hatfield to give the Red Raiders their first lead tonight. Snap back, hold down, kick away. 24-23 Tech. Teddy Lehman, what happened there? Well, too much time for Mahomes. Yeah, Romar was in there, you know, for but the he, extra he point. Yeah, he, I mean, he hobbled to the side. You know, Obo not being in there is, you know, is going to be huge, especially in that Bolton package that's been so effective. There it wasn't nearly as effective with Obo sideline. Kickoff is a line drive down the middle. It'll bound to Westbrook in the end zone. He'll take a knee. So OU's got 37 seconds here, and the wind at their back. I wouldn't imagine that they'll... And they've got two timeouts as well, so I would think Lincoln Riley will be gung-ho here. We might have a couple possessions yet here, Toby. <laughs> the night is young. 24-23 Red Raiders. Alex Dalton in the game at right guard here. Eight play, 80 yard drive for Texas Tech. Baker in the shotgun, he's got it. He will fake the handoff, rolls left, sets up. He's looking deep down the middle, looking for Didi. He's got it at the 25 and he's down at the 22. And Westbrook is slow to get up. He's helped to his feet, 28 seconds still to go. And he'll hobble off the field. They'll put it down at the 23-yard line. A 52-yard pass to D.D. Westbrook. And the Sooners are in striking distance already. Bob and they'll Stoops use a timeout. Call the timeout. Yeah, sorry, Toby. Bob Stoops came hustling down. He was a little bit behind the play. The field of a completed pass is under further review. And Bob Stoops got his timeout. And as you heard, we're under an official review. Official review brought to you by Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law. McIntyre Law, the legal firm for all your legal needs. I don't see anything to review there. He, he does turn his back to us as he goes to the ground. 
unless the ball came out. <laughs> Diddy Westbrook put his helmet back on and just ran back onto the field. He's ready to go, guys. And his head dangerously hits the turf here, man. That's... He did kind of go forehead first into the turf. I've seen three reviews, nothing yet to overturn it. How about D.D. Westbrook? If this stands, six catches, 141 yards in the first half. It's going to take us an hour and a half to recap the stats from this game in the postgame yeah, show. He had one, what, 59, 40, 59 yarder call back. That's right. 40, I believe. When play resumes, it'll either be first and 10 OU at the Tech 23 or second and 10 at their own 25. Guys down on the field, have you seen anything from these replays that would lead you to believe this will be overturned? On the big screen, they keep showing one little sequence over and over where it looks like the ball moves a bit, but it doesn't appear as if it ever touches the turf. So we'll await the official announcement, but I'm 0 for 2 so far on review, so I'm not venturing a guess at all on this one. They're really zooming in on it, but it just doesn't appear as if that ball moves and hits the turf. Bob Stoops is preparing as if the Sooners are going to have the ball down here at the 23-24 yard line, so the Sooner offense is ready to roll. Sooner fans, in case you haven't heard, you can now listen to our game day broadcast for free. Hopefully After many of you are. Review, the ruling on the field stands. It's a first down. Please set the game clock to 27 seconds. 2 7. On TuneIn Oklahoma Radio. Oklahoma is not charged with a timeout as the page came before the timeout. That gummit Cooper Castleberry, I'm trying to do a read here. <laughs> Go to the App Store and download the TuneIn Radio app today. Sooners have it at the 23, and they've still got two timeouts remaining. Four wides. They trail by one. Snap, Baker, fakes a handoff, rolls right, sets up, look in middle, throws for the end zone, Basquiat is there, he's got it, it's a touchdown! And just when it looked like the Sooners would take a deficit into the locker room, they jumped back on top. It took them 20 seconds. Uh, Toby, there's still 17 seconds left in the first half, so... I mean, that was a perfect strike for Baker Mayfield. I mean, beautiful throw. Perfect touch. Led him perfectly. That's outstanding. This is one of the best halves <laughs> Baker Mayfield has ever had. I mean, he has just been dropping dimes right and left. And field goal or extra point, excuse me, is good for Seibert. So it's 30-24. to 24. That's another enjoy vision. Two minutes to 20-20 scoring drive. It was a two minutes to 20-second scoring drive. For your chance to win free LASIK from Enjoy Vision, text Sooners 2020 to 90561. How about this? The way things are going, they may have enough time to score here. <laughs> That's my concern. <laughs> Guys, uh, Obo Ogronko, again, as, as we said, this will be a storyline that will follow coming out of the locker room at halftime. He does not have his helmet right now. He's jogging up and down the sideline. This guy wants to get back into the game so badly right now. I think they want to further evaluate him. He's going director of rehabilitation, Jim Hillis, right now, almost begging for the opportunity to get back in. But what has he done? He has pulled Mark Jackson Jr. aside. He has talked to him about his responsibilities. Ted, you brought it up earlier in that Bolton package that the Sooners have used so far. I mean, Bolton uses 18. I guess 18 wheelers already taken. So, so we've got to come up How with about something. Lightning Bolt just on there short notice. There you go. I love uh, it. Lightning Bolton uh, <laughs> formation that they're using. but Much Obo, better, Ted. Obo not in there, guys, but he's taking the time to make sure that Mark Jackson understands his responsibility in that outside rush in spot. Here's the kickoff, 17 seconds to go. High driving, good one, end over end. Seibert buries it. Tackle start on the 25 with 17 seconds. 30 to 24. These two teams have combined for 860-some yards of offense in the first half. Mahomes has thrown it 45 times, 375 yards. He's only right just barely over 50% completion percentage tonight. Baker, 14 of 21 for 276 and three scores. And Texas Tech with the Haley's Comet of college football, they're going to take a knee. And that's halftime. Oh, man, get your breath, go towel off, take a shower, whatever you need to do at halftime. I'm going to lay down and take a brief nap. 
30 to 24 Sooners lead it at the break. Toby Rowland back with you. We are at halftime of our Sooner Radio Classic, the 2016 shootout in Lubbock between Oklahoma and Texas Tech. The Sooners held a 30 to 24 lead at halftime, and it had already been a crazy affair. But we hadn't seen anything yet. Lincoln Riley, Cliff Kingsbury, Baker Mayfield, and Patrick Mahomes are about to go toe-to-toe, blow-for-blow in one of the wildest second halves in OU history. Settle in. We've still got 71 points to go. After the break, the second half of the 2016 Classic between Oklahoma and Texas Tech. From Learfield IMG College, you're listening to a classic college game. Here we go, second half. Sooners will kick off. Tech will get the ball first. 30 to 24, Oklahoma leads. Felton and Davis deep. Cyber to put a boot into it. OU moving right to left here in the third quarter. Wind at his back. Cybert approaches. There's toe to leather. Driving kick. This will be a touchback. Five yards deep. And Tech will start on the 25. There goes Oboe. Back on the field. Huge development here for the for the Sooners. We have seen Stephen Parker injured and come back tonight. Oboe now injured and comes back. Romar came back too. Even though he was severely hobbled, he did come back in the game. Here we go. First and 10 tech. They'll go five wide on first down. Patrick Mahomes on pace to throw the ball 90 times tonight. Unheard of. In the shotgun. Snap. Three-man rush. Here comes a late blitz. Throws right side. Diving, grabbed it, get his hands under it. He did not. Incomplete at the 35. Intended for Jonathan Giles. The pass was low. Mahomes has thrown it 46 times now for 375 yards tonight. But again, he's hovering right around 50% completion percentage. He came in averaging 71% passing on the year. Daly on ward the back, tight end right. A little more tightly bunched here on second and 10. Man in motion left to right. Mahomes will pitch it forward. Cut up to the 25 QT to the 30, and he's met with a wall of Sooners at the 31. That'll be a gain of six for Kiki QT on what will technically go as a pass. Little jet sweep to the right. Third down and four. Four wides. Sooner substitute. Capri Doucette runs off the field. Will Johnson is in. Five wides now as the back joins the right side of the wide receiver formation. Back to pass. Quick throw across the middle. Incomplete. Boy, that was almost intercepted yeah, really by Stephen was. Parker again. Hit so, him right in the face mask. Toby, Bob Stoops tried to call timeout before that play, too. Jordan Evans was lost. He didn't have a call out there defensively. He didn't know what the coverage was at all. He had his hands up like he didn't know what was going on. Parker's got one pick tonight and almost two more. And the Sooners come up with a three and out on the opening possession of the second half. Assuming Tech punts here. D.D. Westbrook standing on the 27, awaiting the punt from Michael Barden. Into the wind, snap back. There's the kick. End over end, wobbly. D.D. comes up, calls fair catch, and takes it at the 37. That got a little hairy at the end. It was a 37-yard punt. Well, a good start to the second half for the Sooner defense. The offense made a habit of scoring from distance in the first half. 56-yard pass to Mixon. 49-yard touchdown to Didi. 46-yard run by Mixon. 23-yard pass to Basquin. Let's see what they got in store for us here in the second half as the first appearance tonight of Jeffrey Mead. First time we've seen Jeffrey in a long time. It's at the 32-yard line. I think I did 37. 32-yard line. First and 10. Power pistol. Snap. Hand off Mixon. Running right. Looking for a hole. Bounces it outside. Still behind the line of scrimmage. Cuts through. He's got a hole. 35 to the 40. you got to be kidding me. He breaks free. It's a race. Nobody's going to get him. Joe Mixon. Oh, there's a flag down. It's a touchdown. But there's a flag down back at the Sooner 46. And there was a hold. It was one of the wide receivers. I'm not sure who had a hold of a guy as Mixon came out of there and broke out back across the field. He pulled on the guy's jersey. Holding by number 11 of the offense. The 10-yard penalty and replay first down. 
That's huge. I mean, that was one of the most amazing runs you'll ever see. Joe Mixon walking back to his teammates on the sideline. He's going to get a break here. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. It is a spot foul, so they'll move it back to the 37, and it will be first down and five from there. Maybe that, you never know, maybe that hold is what allowed him to spring free, but still. Mm. So first and five from the 37, we'll try again. Abdul Adams into the game. Dimitri Flowers in the backfield with him. Fake handoff. Throw near side. Caught. Dahu Green spins away at the 50. Down the sidelines. 45-40, and he's out of bounds. Second career grab for Dahu Green. The first came in the Cotton Bowl. You remember he had a 51-yard catch against Texas. This one goes for 25. To the Red Raider, 38. Power pistol. Still Adams at back. Baker says, hang on a second here. Alex Dalton still at right guard for OU. Snap. Handoff. Adams has a hole over the left side. 35. Splits defenders and dives forward toward the 31-yard line. Freshman. Landover, Maryland. Abdul Adams. We've got an injured Red Raider. Seven-yard run by Adams. Those sirens are outside the stadium. Injured Red Raider is about three yards inbounds just in front of the tech bench. Completely surrounded by trainers. I don't know who it is. 13-15 to go, third quarter. 30-24 to 24 OU. They got Dalton in at right guard this series. I don't know whether they... I haven't been able to see where they took Brown out or... Drew Samia. Yeah. I would thank Brown probably. Stevenson Cancer Center and the Pride are banding together against cancer this fall again. Last year, you raised over seven premier workforce management provider to Sooner Nation. To find a job or make your next hire, visit ExpressPros.com. From Learfield IMG College, you are listening to a classic college game. Timeout is over. Second and three OU from the Red Raider 31. Mixon back in. He's caught his breath. Michael Jones, Dahu Green, D.D. Westbrook, the wideouts. I think that's Flowers tight end right. Here we go. Baker's got it. Hand off Joe. Runs left. Stiff arm, and he can't get away. He's going to be about a half yard shy of the first down. Justice Nelson, pretty nice tackle. Third and one, less than one. It's Mark Andrews at tight end. Here comes Flowers and Carson Meyer and Jordan Smallwood. This is going to be that power package. They need less than a yard here. Baker runs out wide left. Going to be a wildcat formation. Mixon in the shotgun. He's got it. He's going to run it up the middle. First down and more. 25, and he's got it to the 23. Baker split out wide receiver. Direct snap to Joe Mixon. Needed one, got six. Move the chain. There's a new one. Showing some patience there, Joe Mixon. Yep. As a, lets the blocks unfold in front of him. Look like a out of the Blake Bell book. Just paused behind the line of scrimmage for a while to let everything develop. Snap. Mayfield. Play action. Looks right. Throws across the middle. Didi's got it at the 10. At the 5. Can he get away? He's into the end zone. It's a touchdown. TD Westbrook strikes again. Chicken for James. He's making up for that holding call there a while ago. Too. He Twenty a big way. 23-yard touchdown for DD. His second of the night. He now ties Jonathan Giles for the Big 12 lead again with 10 on the year. Extra point attempt by Seibert is good. 11.51 to go. Another 20-plus yard touchdown for OU. That is their fifth of the night. 
56, 49, 46, 23, and another from, and with 11.51 to go, third quarter, it's now Oklahoma 37 and Texas Tech 24. Didi now, seven catches, 164, and two touchdowns tonight. A fourth straight monster game for Westbrook. Another touchback off the boot of Seibert. The Sooner scoring drive, six plays, 68 yards. Took two minutes and 17 seconds. And Oklahoma has a two-score lead again, most importantly, 37-24. Devonta Lampkin, who is making his 2000 well, his Sooner debut here tonight is out there to start this drive. Lampkin, the redshirt freshman from Houston. Power pistol formation, first and 10, tech from their own 25. Mahomes not yet ready to snap the ball, moving chess pieces around in the backfield. Snaps it, fakes a handoff. Looks left, under pressure, throws late, caught by the fullback. He's got room, 30, 35, read out to the 40, hit hard at 45-yard line. They finally got him down. 20 yards for Reed. Manuel Beals, the one that finally caught him. Power pistol, trips to the right. Mahomes fakes a handoff, rolls right, wanted to pass. Man was covered, so he'll throw it into the Sooner bench. Well done. Second and 10 upcoming. And 11.30 to go in the third. Baker Mayfield now 16 of 23 tonight. 324 yards, four touchdowns. No picks, no sacks. That sound you hear is the city of Chicago. They are partying at Wrigley Field. Chicago has just finished off the Los Angeles Dodgers 5-0. Mahomes back to pass. Throws right side and incomplete. Good coverage by Jordan Parker. Reginald Davis, the intended receiver. It's third and ten. So, Toby, then uh, the kind of uh, fun little wager we had about which game would finish first wasn't yeah. even close. No doubt. <laughs> that was a quick baseball game. We've got an hour and a half to go here, maybe. Third and ten for Tech. 51 pass attempts for Mahomes. Here comes 52. Snap back. Flush to his right. Flag is down. Now they're going to blow this play dead. That was, that's going to be a false start. That was an odd start to that play. Just took a while for the ref to find the hanky. A false start. Number 76 of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's still third down. Penalty number seven. For Texas Tech. It's third and long here. They're going empty. Watch for them. They've been working with third and long. We've been going zone coverage. They've been working the middle of the field on our backers. Watch this number three, Giles, on Jordan Evans over here in the middle of the field. Yeah, the quarterback grow. Mahomes has it. Four man rush. Throws down the middle. It is caught. First down at the Sooner 40, Jonathan Giles. Jordan Thomas, it looked like, almost got there. Third and 15, and they pick it up. 21-yard pickup to the Sooner 38. 11-11 to go in the third. Mahomes lines up in a pistol. He squats down and gives instructions to the wide receivers to the right. Now he's got it. He's going to throw out there, caught quickly at the 40-yard line. Boy, a good block on the edge, and out of bounds goes Giles. And we've got an injured Sooner. Jordan Wade, a little slow nope, getting up. up. Looks like Bear's going to be okay, though. Cameron Batson had a big block on Will Johnson on that play. The gain was to the 33, a five-yard pickup. Second and five. Red Raiders in all black moving left to right here in the third quarter. Trailing 37 to 24. Empty set. Mahomes straight drop. Across the middle again. Incomplete. Ian Sadler. Couldn't hang on to it down at the 20-yard line. It'll be third and five. I don't know if I've ever seen a team more blatantly abandon the run than Texas Tech does. They just says, we know what we are. We're throwing every down.
Third and five from the 33. Four wides. Sooner showing blitz up the middle. Here they come. Mahomes throws quickly. It is caught at the 30. That'll be a first down to the 25. Still in bounds. Down to the 20. It's Patson. Now he stood up and forced out around the 18. Will Johnson in coverage. He just went man-to-man -man there. Single high safety man underneath, and that's an option right there on Will Johnson. That's tough business, but you got to cover down on that whenever they're going to your guy, and we got a blitz going. First and 10 at the 17. Mahomes. He will keep it himself, trying to get to the corner. He's running it to the 20. Now he's going to throw late. Guys wide open. Touchdown. No oh, flag is down. He was past the line of scrimmage, I think. There's two flags down. There's one in the middle of the field as well. I was looking for Lyman. It's not an ineligible receiver downfield. Was he past the line of scrimmage? Uh, an ineligible player downfield, number 73 of the offense. The five-yard penalty, and it's still first down. All right. Well, there's been a lot of <laughs> touchdowns or near touchdowns called back tonight. We'll move it back to the 22 on penalty number eight for the Red Raiders. 10-18 to go in the third. Stockton in the game at running back. A rare appearance for their normal starter tonight. The junior from Cibolo, Texas. First and 15. Mahomes going to hand it to Stockton. Over the left side, trying to get to the corner. Stiff arm, he does, to the 20 and out of bounds at the original line of scrimmage. Capri Doucette, a big hit on the sidelines. The stiff arm was applied to Oboe. It'll be second and 10 from the 17. A rare running play, just their 12th tonight. They've thrown it 55 times. Five wides. Mahomes looks back over his right shoulder at the Texas Tech sideline. Here's the matchup again. Giles at the number three receiver there on Jordan Evans. Mahomes has it. He'll throw quickly. That's caught by Patson at the 15 and stood up by Evans. Gets away. Will Johnson now. Here comes a late flag in as he pushes defenders to the nine. The flag came from the back judge. It's an eight-yard pickup on the play if it stands. It's going to be a hold on Texas Tech, I believe. Back judge took his flag and put it right on the 16-yard line, too. I think it's a formation issue, maybe. Whatever it is, he was very clear about where that foul had taken place. An illegal block below the waist by number nine of the offense. The 15-yard penalty from the previous Big spot one. and replay second down. That is a 15-yarder on Tech. Number nine on the night. Nine penalties for 70 yards. Season average right there, Toby. And almost. I mean, they averaged 9.7, 9.8. So, Whew. This doesn't phase him very much. So. <laughs> That's a good point, Coach. <laughs> it backs it up to the 32 and becomes second and 25 now. Five wides, and now we're going to blow this play dead. I, they've spotted a 33. I think it's supposed to be at the 32-yard line. It was at the 17 previously. If you hear what sounds like maybe the neighbors in your motel room fighting, that's the uh, coach's booth, which is to our right here tonight. It tends to be animated whether things are going well or not. Time to time, some of the pounding will make its way through our microphones. It's quite enjoyable to listen to. All right, they've respotted the ball at the 32, as we thought. And here we go, second and 25 from the Sooner 32. OU up 13. Mahomes empty set, he's got the ball. Four-man rush, he's going to wing it down the near sideline, looking for a touchdown, and he's got it. What a catch. What a throw. Reginald Davis, near corner of the end zone. I mean, that was a dandy. He just ran right into the wall up in the tunnel. He's, he's down. He's hurt. Finally got back to his feet. That was the best throw of the night for Patrick Mahomes, and that's saying something because he's thrown it a whole bunch. 
A 32-yard touchdown pass to Reginald Davis, his first touchdown of the year. And it's a one-score game again. Did he get his foot in? I don't know. I didn't think he got his left foot in. Well, we, referee is waiting to see if they'll replay it. I think they're going to look at this again, guys. It looked like his left foot his, was out. His left foot is really close. Nope, and it's the say it's only good. foot that he had a chance with. It has been counted as a touchdown. Here we go. Extra point. 9.33 to go in the third quarter. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is good. 37-31 Sooners. Timeout on the... Here's the kickoff. That's another good one. Boy, these kickers have done a nice job both ways. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think Bob Stoops minds seeing D.D. Westbrook take a knee in the end zone. He would rather mix in, neither Mixon nor Westbrook take too many hits on these kickoff returns. So OU will start on the 25. Leading by six... Long ways to go in this one. A lot of time left. Sooners take the field with Jeffrey Mead again. Had three possessions there and got rid of five and a half minutes. I'd look for them to take a shot maybe on this series if they uh, get a chunk here on first down to D.D. Westbrook. It's been a while since we've gone deep to him. Shotgun. Mixon moves to the right of Baker. Snap. Going to be a fake throw. Baker's going to run it himself. Near sideline, 30, and he's out of bounds. Defense played that pretty well. I don't know if he wanted to throw it to Joe or not. Yeah, that's a called quarterback counter there. He fakes the swing. You had two offensive linemen, the guard and the tackle, both pulling over to the left side of the formation, trying to pump fake it to mix and get the pursuit, running over here to the wide side of the field and coming back over there with two blockers in front of Baker. They're going to say he was out at the 28, so only three yards there. I don't like that spot. And there is an injured Red Raider on the near sideline. It's safety Keenan Ward, who has just now gotten to his feet. Second and 7 OU from their own 28. 9.25 to go third quarter here at Jones AT&T Stadium in Lubbock. Sooners lead Texas Tech. 37-31. Mark Andrews in motion left to right across the formation. Snap, Baker fakes a handoff, rolls right, wants to throw across the middle, does, Basquin's got it at midfield, and he's knocked down right there. The walk-on, Nick Basquin, his third catch tonight, he's got a touchdown tonight. 22 yards on that pick up to the 50. Spotted at the Tech 48, and give him a 24-yard gain. Sooners on the march right to left, and the traveling white unis tonight. Classic white Sooner uniforms. Baker's got it. Inside handoff to Mixon, running right. Slithers through a hole to the 45 and dumped down at the 43. That's five yards on first down for Joe Mixon. He's up to 170 yards rushing tonight and counting. Already a career high for Mixon. Previous career high was 154. He's also got 56 receiving yards tonight. The Big 12's all-purpose leader not going to give up that title this evening, that's for sure. Snap, Baker throws right side toward the sidelines. High grab by Dede, but he couldn't keep a foot in pounds. Incomplete. Oh, that kills you. It'll be third and five. Third and five and 83's on the field. Third down, Basquin. Let's see if they go to him here. This is the formation where they've been hitting D.D. Westbrook with the slant down here. They're going to blitz. Tech is showing blitz. they got a bunch of guys breathing fire at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> I'd say four downs, not out of the realm of possibility at this point on the field. D.D. goes in motion, sets up slot left, so trips to the left. Baker's got it. Third and five. Straight drop. Going to lob it out to Mixon. Wide open. One-handed catch down the sidelines. 25-20. It's a race. 15-10. He keeps his feet, and he's into the end zone. Oh, mama. What a play by Joe Mixon. 
A one-handed grab. I'm not sure his left hand ever touched the football. And then he sprinted down the far sidelines. A Red Raider on horseback had a chance to take him off his feet at the 10-yard line. And Joe just stepped through the tackle and into the end zone. 43 yards. And Mixon's monster night continues. I've seen him practice a lot of times. Just catch it with one hand. Just to be doing it, I guess. It paid off. Extra point attempt by Seibert is good. Wow. Well, I tell you, as a defender, whenever they motion a wide receiver across the the field and you're left over there, one off. He's got 170 on the ground, 99 through the air. It's his third touchdown combined. That was a five-play, 75-yard scoring drive in a minute 34. And the most nonchalant one-handed touchdown catch you'll ever see in your life. Kickoff by Seibert will go through the end zone again. I mean, he made that look easy. It's like he never even thought, even when the play was signaled in, that he would attempt to catch it with two hands. Right. Well, we knew there was a chance for Joe to have a big night tonight with 32 out. And he has indeed pistol formation for Tech. DeLeon Ward at the top of it. Mahomes going to hand it to Ward. Running right, makes a cut, line of scrimmage. Falls forward for three to the 28. And Neville Gallimore just absolutely obliterates the tackle in front of him, pushes him two or three yards back into the backfield and just blows up that play. Second and seven, Mahomes fakes a throw, looking deep. Has time, still looking, still looking. Now dumps it into the bench. Great coverage by the Sooner secondary. It'll be third and seven. He just finally ran out of real estate, Mahomes did. You know he did because he's got tremendous confidence to throw that thing at the last second like a dart. Third and seven from their own 28. Sooner's trying to get a rare three and out. Got a couple of them tonight. Could give their offense the ball back with a 13-point lead right here. Mahomes has it. Four-man rush, throws, near side, caught at the 32. First down, bats into the 35, and he's pushed backwards from there, but he got enough. Needed seven, got eight. And more confusion there in the, you yeah. know, the secondary for the Sooners. Jordan Evans and Will Johnson confused on the coverage and where well, to get lined up. They had two guys covering and three guys to cover. Snap, pitch to Batson. He wants to throw, throws back to Mahomes. Mahomes wants to throw, throws across the field. Sadler's got it. 45-yard line and out of bounds in Sooner territory. That was some fancy trickery by Tech. Pitch to Batson, throw back to Mahomes, who threw to Sadler coming across the field. They'll spot it at the Sooner 45. Gain of 19. Fancy schmancy. Five wide for the Red Raiders. Under seven to go third quarter. Man in motion across the formation. Fake handoff. Rolling right. Mahomes looking for the end zone. It is overthrown. Reginald Davis, the intended receiver. Jordan Parker in coverage. And that was pass attempt number 60. The all-time record for an opponent against Oklahoma is 64. Is that right, Stats? 64 attempts. He's got 60 with six and a half to go in the third quarter. Ryan Tannehill has that record. We're going to have to start looking for the all-time NCAA pass attempt record, Stance. I mean, he's got his eye on 80 or 90 tonight. There's a throw, caught in the flat, 45 to the 40, and he tripped over the turf monster. I don't think a Sooner ever brought him down. That was a new Red Raider into the game, Quan Shorts. Five-yard pickup, third down, and five. Mahomes hits the pause button, looks at Kingsbury. Moves his back, Ward to his left. Three to snap, and the Sooners get a timeout. 
Toby, they didn't have enough defensive backs over here to cover the receivers, did they, Ted? Yeah, I think they did, but there, it seemed like there was confusion the whole time between man-to-man -man coverage and zone coverage, what they were going to play. You could maybe tell. Kind of nonchalant there at the beginning of that, that uh, play. 6.05 to go in the third. We're checking on that opponent pass attempt record, by the way. That was the last time somebody had over 60. Is that what it was? Look, that okay, looked to me to... like they're lined up right here. Four wide receivers on third and five for Tech from the Sooner 40-yard line. Mahomes has it. He is going to hand it off up the middle. Ward and Jordan Wade jumps on him. He falls forward for another yard to the 37. It'll bring up fourth down and short, and I'm sure Tech will go for this. Fourth and one and a half or so. Pretty common call there whenever you know for a fact that you're going to be going for it on fourth if you don't get, get it. Get lined up. Get lined up. Let's go. Tech one for one on fourth tonight. Just three of 11, though, on the year are the Red Raiders. They've got a running back. It's Ward. Four wide receivers. they got to get it to the 35 for a first down. Mahomes hand signals, hand signals. Now he's ready. Fourth and two. There's the snap. It's a handoff to Ward over the right side. Got to the 35, to the 34. That's enough. Needed two, got three. And the tech drive continues. They move quickly. 5.19 to go in the third. Mahomes wants to throw. Here comes a blitz by Obo. Given chase, throws late. He's got a man wide open. Flag is down at the 20. Batson makes a cut and gets near the 15, but a flag is down back at the line of scrimmage. Is this the 10th penalty on Tech tonight? We were late getting lined up. We had guys all standing up at the line of scrimmage. I don't know if they got one of us offsides. The quarterback acts like it's them. A chop block by number 32 of the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty, and it's still first down. Second chop block that Tech has been hit with tonight, too, Toby. That's number 10. This is for 85 it. yards. Backs it up to the 50-yard line, or just across it. Stockton in at running back on first and 25. It's a great place for him to go for a touchdown because the defense is going to be expecting a lot of other things. Mahomes has the football, drops back. Here's pass number 62, rolling left under pressure. Golly. Roberts can't get him. Now he's going to run it himself. 45 and out of bounds, shy of the 40-yard line. Austin Roberts nearly had him back at the 45 in Tech territory, but couldn't corral him. It is a gain of nine on the ground. Second down and long, 16. QT goes in motion left to right. Four wide receivers to the right now. Mahomes, straight drop, four-man rush. He's going to throw it for the end zone. Nobody there except for Jordan Parker, who got a hand on it. QT was the closest Red Raider. It'll be third and 16. Red Raiders need to get it to the 25 for a first down. 420 to go here in the third. Five wide receivers set. Three to the right, two to the left. Mahomes looks back at the sideline. Cliff adjusts his sunglasses, sends in the play. Mahomes has it. Looking right, looking bad left. Oboe given chase, stops, fires for the end zone. It is caught. Wow. Jonathan Giles. Ahmad Thomas and Stephen Parker both there, and Giles came back and somehow between the two of them made the catch. It's just a great play by Mahomes. He's back there. He's double covered. There's two guys, one over the top, one underneath, and Mahomes just throws it to the open part of the end zone. I mean, he's not and lets the player work over there through coverage. He doesn't throw it to where he was, just let him work back to the football. Just a great play. So Giles retakes the lead from D.D. Westbrook in the one of the under storylines in this game. Extra point is good. 
Giles now 11 touchdowns this year. Westbrook at 10. Our score now 44-38 Sooner. Still 4-10 to go in the third. Far corner of the end zone. Didi's going to bring it out. Two yards deep to the 5, to the 10, right side, 15, to the 20. Veers right out near the 25, and he's down there. Teddy, the charge and the challenge from Kerry Cooks to, to his defensive backs is pretty clear. you got to make plays. Defense has been pretty good. Even when things break down, we're in decent position. You've got to make plays. And it's kind of been the challenge and the charge here in the second half. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do coverage-wise. You know, you, they're switching up man-to-man -man zone. And right there, you know, you've got guys in position. You've got a guy that has a quarterback in the backfield. you just got to make those plays. 11 plays, 75-yard scoring drive and 348. Sooners will start at their own 24. Dahu Green is in. Looks like Geno Lewis and D.D. Westbrook mix in the back. Snap. Hand off to Joe. Up the middle. Trips. Across the 25, got to the 26. But he stumbled. I don't know if it was his own feet or somebody else's. A gain of, well, just give him one. It looks like they're going to spot it right at the 25. Second and nine. Power pistol. Baker needs nine yards for 400. Snap. Play action. Back to pass across the middle. He's got it. First down out to the 40, to the 42, Geno Lewis. They like to use the big, strong Penn State transfer over the middle of the field in traffic. He makes a nice catch there for 17. Sooners tempo. Baker's got it. Hand off Joe running left. Hog tied at the line of scrimmage and able to fall forward for two to the 45. And it's been so effective on the ground. The play prior, the completion of Geno Lewis, hard play action fake. The linebacker's all the way up at the line of scrimmage. There's just no one back there in the secondary to make the play. I'm going to correct one thing I said earlier. Opponent pass attempts record 72 against OU. Graham Harrell, Texas Tech, back in 2007. That's since records were kept in 1996. Baker rolls right, stops, throws right sideline, caught at the Texas Tech 45 by Geno again. Keeps his feet, still wrestling to the 42. So two Geno Lewis catches on this possession. Kel Gundy told us on the coach's corner they love using Geno, as you just brought up, Toby, because he catches everything. He's one of those guys that they can always rely on to come down with a big catch. Our OU media relations team feverishly going back to the record book. So far, they've gone back to 1996, and 72 is the most they can find. Graham Harrell in 2007. We'll keep you updated. Man in motion right to left. Baker's got it. Inside handoff. Mixon has a hold to the 40, banging to the 35, down to the 34. Eight-yard run on first down for Mixon. 2.19 to go third quarter. It's 44-38 Oklahoma. Here comes Dahu Green back in. Jarvis Baxter seldom used tonight. He's slot right. DD wide right. Flowers tied in to left. Pretty good place to take a shot right here on second at about two and a half from just across the 35-yard line. Sooners have scored 44 points tonight and rarely made a trip into the red zone. They've made a habit of striking from distance. Baker's got it. Back to pass. Sets up. Has all day. Looking. Looking. Now he'll flush to the left. Still looking. He's going to wing it for the end zone. Looking for Flowers. He's got it. Flags are down. He caught it anyway. Dimitri Flowers in the back of the end zone. A 34-yard touchdown pass from Mayfield to Flowers. The sixth touchdown pass tonight for Baker Mayfield. Pass interference by number 38 of the defense. Penalties declined. Touchdown. Still 136 to go third quarter, and the Sooners have hung half a hundred on him in Lubbock. And that may not be enough. <laughs> you might be right. Unbelievable. Dimitri Flowers. Wow. Dimitri can do a lot of things. He's, is, uh, he'd be a good big running back at fullback. That is his sixth career touchdown catch. His second this season. Extra point is good. How about this game? Fifth touchdown of the third quarter combined between these two teams. The shortest was 23 yards. 
The second half, Toby, there have been six possessions and five touchdowns between the two teams. <laughs> and a three we got and out. three and out. That's the series <laughs> of the game so far. <laughs> That's exactly right. 51-38, the sixth touchdown pass ties a record. Landry Jones had six in that 50-49 to game against West Virginia back in 2012. Baker's got six tonight in his return to Lubbock, and he might not be done yet. 51-38 Sooners. Here's the kickoff. End over end. It'll come down in the end zone, and Seibert records yet another touchback. Texas Tech's best starting field position tonight was their first drive of the game, the 27-yard line. That's pretty good. Toby, one of the chief cheerleaders for this Sooner offense on the sideline all night long, Samaj P. Ryan. Good to see him engaged even though he can't go tonight. Waning moments of the third quarter, five wide. Texas Tech from their own 25, trailing again by 13. Mahomes throws quickly, caught at the 27, short gain out of bounds at the 28. It's Kiki QT. Gain of three. Oboe in coverage. Second and seven. Sooner sitting on 677 yards of offense. Tech 610. That's right. Combined, we're knocking on the door of 1,300 combined yards tonight. Not yet into the fourth quarter. Mahomes hit as he throws. He's going deep down the middle, incomplete. Reginald Davis got two hands on it. Wide open, couldn't hang on. Good job of getting that linebacker in his face. It'll be third and seven. And if that pass is thrown a little bit more to the near sideline, that's a touchdown. Tech has been brilliant on third down tonight. 13 of 18. Let's see what they do here. Third and seven in their own territory. Mahomes straight drop. Looking right. Throws near sidelines. It is caught. First down, out of bounds at the 39. That's Quan Shorts. Pickup of 11. Make them 14 of 19 now on third downs. Mm. Fifty-six seconds to go, third quarter. Mahomes set to chunk it for the 67th time and does. Batson's got it at the 35, makes a move to the 40. Still on his feet to the 45. Give him six. Good job by Roberts there. Starts on a pass rush and then flies out to the outside. That's the pursuit you want to see from your defensive lineman from the inside out. Second down and four. Power pistol. It's a throw. Caught at the 45. First down to the 50 and out of bounds. Devin Lauderdale working on Jordan Thomas. Stepped out at the Sooner 48. Seven-yard game. Both teams have scored double-digit points in every quarter so far tonight. 51-38 OU. Eight seconds to go in the third. This should be the final play if Tech snaps it. With four, with three, there's the snap. Back to pass. Looking deep, flush to the right. Still rolling, still rolling. Now he wings it, incomplete. He's really something on those kind of passes, how well he puts him on them. Looking for his running back, DeLeon Ward, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Four fingers in fourth quarter begins with Tech at the Sooner 48-yard line facing a second and 10. Patrick Mahomes... 39 of 69 for 575 yards passing. Five wide, quick throw, caught at the 50 by QT, ushered out of bounds at the 45 by Ahmad Thomas. It'll be third down and seven. Sooners have turned them over twice tonight. This will be a good spot for number three. Empty formation again. Mahomes, one more glance at Kingsbury, who fixes his hair and sends in the play. Clock runs. Mahomes has it. Three-man rush. 
Pressure up the middle, steps up, wants to run it himself to the 40, slides down at the 35. That's enough for a first down. With his legs this time, Mahomes. And their tremendous success on third downs tonight continues. 15 of 20. They just 75%. run all the guys down the field on vertical routes, run all the linebackers out of there, and if the rush isn't there, he's just going to pump it and then take off right down the middle. That's tough to defend. Two backs. Throw. Two backs for Tex. Now he sends one in motion. Stockton going to throw. Lobs down the middle, caught by Sadler at the 25. Tackled immediately by Stephen Parker. That'll be a first down. Unbelievable play right there. He pump fakes it. He can see the backer closing in on it, so he puts some touch on it to where the guy, it goes right over the top of him. Unbelievable. NCAA record is 89, folks. Keep an eye on that. He's thrown 71 so far. With a sore shoulder, apparently. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's worked it out. I think he's warmed it up, Ted. Mahomes throws again. Caught at the 25 by Sadler. Skips outside. Do sets there, and he wraps him up. Short gain that time. Well covered. A pickup of just one to the 23. That's how you defend those plays, the little bubbles and stuff to the outside with pursuit from the inside out. Those DBs are on a huge island out there. It sure helps a lot whenever you get 11 guys running to the football. Five wides. The Sooner defense will sleep well on the plane home tonight. I hope so. Mahomes straight drop, throws near sideline, bad pass, a rare one tonight. He's had a few of those as he skips it out here to Devin Lauderdale. But this third down one is yeah. his magic play. Yeah, I think he did that on purpose to get to third down. I do, too. Third and eight. 51 for 30, or 51-38 our score. Daly on Ward the back. He has just set a new record as far as we know. Still awaiting the media relations team to go farther back in the books, but we think so. Option left. Mahomes keeps, keeps. He's going to run through a hole to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. Fake the pitch, and Mahomes carries it in from 22 yards out for the score. Another third down pickup, and this one goes into the north end zone. They can't put him away. That is six straight touchdown drives between these two teams here in the second half. All of them at least 22 yards or more, the scoring plays. The drive's obviously longer than that. Extra point attempt by Hatfield is good. And all of this offense tonight in the back of your brain, you still just hope that that missed extra point way back on the opening possession doesn't come back to haunt the Sooners. That one measly point, hopefully that doesn't factor into this game at some point. Seven to play, timeout. Camera phones have their flashlights on around Jones AT&T Stadium. Here's the kickoff. Deep over the head of D.D. Westbrook, touchback. Sooner start on the 25. Still 12.57 to go. Baker, 455 yards passing. Mahomes, 591. Mixon, 182 on the ground. Westbrook, 164 through the air. And they take the field again. Andrews, Westbrook, Dahu Green. Mixon, the back. Baker needs one more touchdown pass to set the OU record. He's got six. No picks, no sacks. Handoff, Mixon, looking for a hole over the right side. Can't find one. Now squeezes through one out to the 30. Very patient run there by 25. A first down pickup of five. Just let that big offensive line go to work and push on those guys a little bit longer. Sooner or later, someone comes out of your gap and he puts a toe on the ground and knocks for it. That's a great job. Basquin in, Flowers out, second and five. Sooners working with a little slower pace, at least right now. We'll see if they pick up a first down if that continues. Baker's got it. 
Going to hand to Joe again, running left this time. He's got a hole, first down across the 35. Flag comes in late. Uh Uh-oh, that was from behind the offense. Looks like a hold. Holding by number 71 of the offense. It's a 10-yard penalty, and it's still second down. Fifth penalty on OU tonight. Tech's been whistled for 10. That one cost him a first down. They're going to put it down at the 24, so the hold was downfield a ways. It'll be second and 11. Andrews tight end right. Baker's got it, wants to throw. Four-man rush all day across the middle. Diving catch, it's Pasquin at the 40. Boy, I like this kid. The Norman North product picks up a first down. 16 yards. He's got a nice little knack for finding the hole in zone coverage and sitting down and letting Baker Mayfield find him. Fourth catch tonight. He's got 75 yards. Mixon moves to the right of Mayfield from their own 40. Baker's got it. Going to hand it to Joe. Runs left. Breaks one tackle. Falls forward to the 43. That'll be three, three and a half yards on first down for Mixon. Jordan Brooks tackled him. Eric Rins' helmet came off. Second time tonight that's happened. So here comes Alvarez to snap it. Flowers back in. Meade checks in. Jeffrey Meade. to play. Oklahoma 51, Texas Tech 45. Second and seven. Mayfield has it, fakes a handoff. Throws near sideline, DD, a catch at the 50. Gets by a man, 45-40, left him in his dust. 35, still not down to the 30-yard line. Falls down awkwardly. Get up, DD, he's fine. That was a little scary. Great job of protecting the football there, wasn't it, after he caught it. He made a little move at midfield, and then a Texas Tech defender just completely whiffed on the tackle. 26 yards for Didi. That's eight catches, 190 now. Two touchdowns. First down, they are to the Tech 30-yard line. Oklahoma has scored touchdowns on their last four possessions. Power pistol formation. Baker fakes a handoff, sets up. Throws near sideline again. D.D. a catch again. Flag comes from the back judge as D.D.'s tackled at the 18. It was a 12-yard pickup if it stands. Flowers is going off the field. Funny. He's hurt. Boy, he is wobbly on the far sideline. To the attention of the athletic trainer, Scott Anderson, head trainer, before he even gets to the bench, guys. Holding an eligible receiver by the defense. The penalties decline. First down. That was on tech, so the 12-yard pickup to Westbrook will stand. That puts him over 200. And D.D. Westbrook continues to demand to be considered in the Bolitnikoff race this year. The last four games, the four biggest consecutive games an OU receiver has ever had, ever. And he's not done yet. So at the 18-yard line in Tech territory, Sooners leading by six as we near the 10-minute mark. Baker's got it. Going to hand to Mixon. Over the left side. Cuts it up to the 15. Pushing, pushing. And down. We are seeing the Sooners make a rare appearance tonight in the Delta Dental Red Zone. Delta Dental, share your smile with Delta Dental of Oklahoma at hashtag SoonersSmileSaturday. Is it still Saturday? Barely. Ball on the 15, second and seven. Adams and Mixon in. Dual backs flanking Mayfield. 9.25 to play in this one. Baker's got it. He will keep it. Now lobs it out. Mixon open. 20 to the 15, to the 10. Got a block to the five. Cuts it up. Dive. Spins. He's in. Touchdown Sooners. That'll be Baker Mayfield's. Seventh touchdown pass. Sooners might go for two here. They're going to go for two. Let's see if they count that as a pass there. Might have been a backwards pass. We'll wait. 9.15 to go, and Oklahoma's going to go for two, leading by 12. 
They won't have Dimitri Flowers. He is still at the attention of the athletic trainer, head athletic trainer, Scott Anderson. So Baker's going to stay on the field here. They're going to go for two, but they will not have Dimitri Flowers in this formation, guys. Carson Myers checked in. It is a 15-yard touchdown pass to Joe Mixon, his fourth combined touchdown tonight. Two catches, two runs. They've got the jumbo package in here. Connor Knight, Carson Meyer. The back is Mixon. You've got Westbrook left and Andrews right. Westbrook in motion. Snap. Fake a handoff. Lob out to DD. He will walk it in for the two-point conversion. And the Sooners are up 14 with 9.15 to play in Lubbock. This offense tonight has been absolutely unstoppable. Kickoff short, returnable. It'll come down at the 6, to the 10, to the 15, 20. Trying to get outside. It's Davis, and he steps out shy of the 25. Forced down by Stephen Parker. Toby, we've talked a lot about the medical replay facility or at least ability that the Sooners have on their sideline. Currently, right now, every single member of the Sooner athletic training staff is watching the replay with Dimitri Flowers. He had his helmet, I I don't want to say taken from him, but Scott Anderson was walking down the sideline with his helmet as they're just trying to get a good idea of exactly what is causing the what caused the injury for Dimitri Flowers. And one of the quick note, they retaped the ankle. The right ankle of D.D. Westbrook looks like he's going to be okay. Mahomes from his own 23 with Ward, his running back, the freshman who had six total carries in his career before tonight has been the featured back. Mahomes, straight drop, looking, lobs out to the right, incomplete. Pass number 74 was not a good one. It'll be second and 10. By the way, everything seems to be good with Dimitri Flowers as he came away with a little laugh with Doc Schnee and Scotty Anderson and with authority, Dimitri put back on his helmet with a big smile. So things looking good for the Sooner fullback to get back in. 59-45 Oklahoma. Mahomes with five wides. Sooner showing blitz. Here comes Emmanuel Beal. Mahomes trying to get away, and he does. Breaks free. He lobs right side. Caught at the 30-yard line. And up ended at the 31 is QT. Boy, Mahomes is like Ben Roethlisberger just trying to tackle him back there at 6'3", 230. Sooners have had their hands all over him all night. They still, I think, only have the one sack. Here comes third and two. Obo has the only sack tonight for OU. He's gone quiet here. 75 recently. pass attempts. <laughs> 823 and counting. Snap. Handoff. Ward up the middle. Breaks a tackle. 35 to the 40. Will Johnson's got him at the 43. First down. Thirty-fifth first down for Texas Tech tonight. Back to pass, Mahomes looking left, pump fake, steps up in the pocket, throws late, looking for a bomb down the right side, incomplete. He overthrows Giles. Ahmad Thomas in coverage. I'm amazed, and I know it's not hot, but as many plays that have been run, that there hasn't been cramping. No, I haven't seen cramping on either side tonight. No, I really haven't either. Uh, I guess neither team's been out there very long. Maybe that has something to do with it. (laughs) The defense, though, and the Tech offensive. Uh, The secondary, I'm telling you, I don't know how they're holding up. Second and 10 from the 44. Mahomes going to throw again. Up the middle, Lampkin pressuring. He's going deep down the middle. He's got QT caught. That'll be a touchdown. Jordan Thomas in coverage lost. Kiki QT. to go. That was 56 yards. Unbelievable. This game will live in the NCAA record books for many a years, folks. Many a years. Got to keep somebody awake along many years, too, I think, whoever it is. Unfortunately, I don't know that it's going to be looked at favorably in the record books. There's the extra point. That is spoken by a defensive guy right there. It's just frustrating to me on a play like that. Just he's open by 10, 15 yards, you know, and they missed a a guy the play before that. on. And here we go to add some more. 
Sooners take the field with Westbrook and Lewis. Two backs, Mixon and Adams. Dahu Green to the left. From the 25, leading by seven. Snap, Baker. Hand off Joe over the left side. Bounces it outside. Has some room. Stiff arm to the 30. Tackled at the 32. Give him seven on first down. And that puts Mixon over 200 yards rushing tonight. So they've got a 200-yard rusher and a 200-yard receiver and a 500-yard passer tonight. Third straight time, too, against Tech, Toby, that the Sooners have had a back go for over 200 yards. Samaje did it the last two times. Half diamond. Second and three. Flowers moves to the left of the power pistol. Baker going to hand it to Mixon again. Up the middle, first down across the 35, pushing to the 36. One of his offensive linemen got bent over backwards there. It was Bobby Evans, but he's up. First down. Sooner's best defense. Maybe for the offense to slow down a bit here. Imagine help Nixon catch his breath a little bit. Nothing seven, else. Seven minutes to play in Lubbock. Wind seems to be picking up a bit out of the south here. 59-52. Three wides. Baker. Hand off. Mixon. No, he keeps it. Baker keeps it. Left side. Has room to the 40. Breaks a tackle. Steps through. First down. And he's out of bounds near midfield. And he's got some words for the defender over there in the Sooner bench. And here comes Flags. And that might be on Baker. It could be on anybody. Thierry Gima bumped into him after he was well out of bounds, but then Baker stood up and stood over him and taunted him. He got an injured Red Raider down. Yeah, it's Malik Jenkins who went down immediately, Toby. It was, I, I think the term, the professional term was he went to sleep. He was absolutely laid out on a block by Dimitri Flowers on a little bit of a After the play, taunting by number six of the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty and replay first down. That is number six first taunting unsportsmanlike conduct penalty of the game. If it was after the play, this should be first and ten. He went out of bounds around midfield. So they should back it up and be first and ten from there. Let's see. Let's hope. Joe Mixon is the first player ever in Sooner history to rush for 200 yards and receive for 100 yards in the same game. He's got 209 on the ground, 114 through the air tonight. They're going to spot this ball back at the 37, and it will indeed be first and 10 for OU from there. And again, it was a personal foul, but Baker felt like he had been maybe pushed out of bounds late, had been cut late, but again, he got caught with a foul. Three flags that came in. I think it's the first time tonight you could say that the emotion of this game has gotten the better of Baker, or he's been penalized for it anyway. He's been laser-like with his passing tonight. 25 of 33, but a silly penalty there. First and 10 from the Sooner, 37. Mayfield's got it. Play action. Rolling right. Sets up. Has all day. Throws back across the middle. Boy, that was dangerous. Incomplete. Intended for Dahu Green. Ill-advised pass by Mayfield across his body over the middle of the field. Three black shirts around Dahu. It'll be second and 10. Maybe back-to-back the two low points for Baker Mayfield's night right there. 6.19 to go. Four wides. Another blackout maybe as big of a factor as they've been all night right now. Man in motion behind the formation. Baker fakes a handoff. Looks middle. Throws middle. He's got Geno Lewis first down in Texas Tech territory. And he takes a big lick. I don't know if Gino's had a catch this year. He hasn't taken a big lick. Gino's built to take licks, so he yes. and the Smallwood both are a little more physical than most of those receivers. 17 yards, third catch tonight for Gino Lewis. Gino Lewis inspired by the fact that his Penn State Nittany Lions have just beaten Ohio State tonight up in Happy Valley. His former Penn State Nittany Lions. First and 10 from the Texas Tech 46 yard line. Mayfield. Quick throw. Caught out there by Michael Jones. His first catch, and he dives forward to the 42. At 
That'll be a pickup of four on first down. Freshman Michael Jones. 5.35 to go, clock runs. 59-52, Oklahoma trying to keep pace with West Virginia, who won earlier today in Morgantown. Baylor a bye today, the other undefeated team in the Big 12 race. They're crowding them good here. Four wide again in motion behind the formation goes Jones. Handoff up the middle. Mixon's got a hole. 35-30 right down the middle of the defense into the end zone. Joe Mixon again, and his monster night continues. 42-yard sprint to pay dirt for Mixon, and the Sooners are over 60. They uh, That's a heck of a call. They jumped into man-to-man -man getting ready to blitz. They sent that motion, and everybody kind of was mesmerized. It's a heck of a call. Big high five and a hug from both Schmidt and Bob Stoops as Joe Mixon comes off the field exhausted after that big time run. That is six straight touchdown drives for OU. Extra point attempt is good. 5.03 to go. 66 52. Records falling right and left in this one. Mixon, 42 yard touchdown run. Oklahoma, the first school in college football history to have a 200-yard rusher, 200-yard receiver, and 500-yard passer in the same game. Kickoff by Seibert into the wind. High end over end, far sideline, returnable. Comes down at the one to Davis. 5-10, comes middle of the field, running sideways. Flag is down. Now cuts back to the right, and Khalil hot in a tackle at the 15, and you're going to tag half the distance on this. Holding by number 32 of the return team. Penalty's half the distance to the goal in his first down. That is penalty number 11, and Reginald Davis, the return man, is slow to get up. That might be a cramp. Yeah, I think that was our first cramp of the evening there for Davis. You know, in this game, Toby, uh, if you get him backed up five or ten yards here, it really doesn't make much difference, does it? <laughs> We're yeah, just helping just, that new record that we're going right. to break. I guess. You know, it just it, inspires them to. It, as crazy as it sounds, though, I mean, it, the good news is this. If you can get one stop right here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's game over because they're not going to stop you. I mean, that's, let's be clear about that. It's, you're going to go right down the field on them uh, if you want to. So if you can just muster up the effort and the attention span to get one stop right here late in the fourth quarter, it's probably the end of the game. It's probably over at that point. Five out of the last six possessions that Tech has had it, they have not been stopped. I can remember every stop of the game. <laughs> That's how few there have been. <laughs> There's only been the, one the in two, the second half. The two turnovers, the three and out to start off the second half, and when they penalized themselves uh, back here and backed themselves up way behind the change and had to punt. Oh, you punted twice in the first half. Yeah, and they got held on downs. That's right. Turned it over on downs. Tech had two turnovers, as Teddy mentioned, and a punt. Here we go. From the seven for Tech. Snap. Mahomes. Play action. Straight drop into the end zone. Steps up. Throws late across the middle. That's caught at the 25-yard line by Giles. Thrown down there by Evans. A gain of 18 in the first down. Pass number 78 for Mahomes. What's the record? 84? 89? Oklahoma's got 12 guys on the field. Austin Roberts allowed to run off late. 89's the record, so he's 11 away. Back to pass. Here comes number 79. Throws across the middle. Caught by QT at the 30. To the 35. First down to the 40. Splits defenders. Still not down. Now they've got him wrapped up. Jordan Parker finally at the 43-yard line. That's 18 more. Four nineteen to play. Tech needs a touchdown, an onside kick, and a touchdown. Back to pass Mahomes. Looking left. Flush. Beals given chase. He's going to throw it and a diving catch, but out of bounds. No, he dropped it. Lauderdale. Didn't matter. He was out of bounds. It'll be second and ten. Emmanuel Beal with the pressure. Jordan Evans. He's up. He's fine. Just collecting himself. 
That, that was pass attempt number 80. Second and 10 from the 43. Mahomes surveying the Sooner defense. Now he's got it. Looking left. Steps up in the pocket. He'll run. 45, 50, midfield. Slides down, short of the first down. They're going to spot it just across the 50-yard line. A gain of seven. Third and three. Austin Roberts, the tackle. Gain of seven brings up third Devonta down. Lampkin three subs in. 3.45 to go. The all-time NCAA yardage record has been broken. These two teams tonight. An historic contest in Lubbock. Throw, caught at the Sooner 45 and down immediately for a short gain, but enough for a first down. It was Ian Sadler, Will Johnson on the stop. Just a five-yard pass. Three and a half to play. Clock becoming an issue. Tech has all three timeouts remaining. Mahomes, straight drop. Rolling right, throws right, diving catch at the 33 in Sooner territory. That is Quan Shorts. And now Mahomes over 700 yards passing tonight. First and 10 at the Sooner 33. 3.12 to go. He's going to throw it again. Looking left, throws left side. Caught at the 21, and they got him down. Nice tackle by Stephen Parker. Batson, well, he never went down, but he stopped his forward motion. But a gain of 13. They are nudged up against the red zone, 20-yard line, under three to play. 66-52 OU. Mahomes, straight drop, flush to the right. Pressured, chased, throws, just dumped it out of bounds. Pass attempt number 83 was incomplete. Toby, I think the biggest play left is going to be covering the onside kick. <laughs> you are foreshadowing, Coach, but unfortunately you might be right. I'm afraid of that. Second and ten. Tech is substituting. There's confusion for the Red Raiders. Now they're set. Five wides. And the Sooners are going to use a timeout, it looks like. Red Raiders have run, what is that, 33 more plays than OU tonight? 104 to 71. They trail it, though, by 14. Mahomes back to pass. Four-man rush. Beal's given chase, and he throws late far sideline. Comeback grab is made, short of the first down. At the 13, that's Batson, the Millwood High School product. It'll be third and three. That's some serious arm strength right there. I mean, backpedaling, fading away, and gets it on the money. I mean, that's, that's impressive. That's his 50th completion in 85 attempts. You've got to start watching his pitch count here at some point. Snap, quick throw, caught at the 14, makes a cut up, first down to the 10 is Giles, down at the 8. It'll be first and goal from there. Obviously, the son of former Major League Baseball player, Pat Mahomes, fine baseball player in his own right that, as Chris Plank mentioned, gave up the sport a couple of summers ago to concentrate on football, and he's headed for the NFL. First and goal from the eight. Mahomes fakes a pass, rolls right, still looking. He's going to run it himself. Doucette gives chase, and he's got him at the four. Good job by Capri Doucette to hang on. It'll be second and goal. Mahomes wanted a flag there as Doucette gave him a little extra shove, but nothing too violent to draw a foul. He's spotted at the three. Might have been a little friendly there. It's a good job by Doucette, though, not going for that pump fake and continue to close the ground on Mahomes. There's under two minutes to go in this game. Second and goal from the three. Back to pass. Looking left, looking in zone, throws across the middle, incomplete. No flags. Jordan Thomas in coverage on Lauderdale. It'll be third and goal with 144 to play. 66-52, Oklahoma. Three wides to the left, one to the right. Mahomes looks back at the sidelines. Here comes pass number 88, back to pass. 
Four-man rush, has time, lobs end zone wide open. Touchdown, Batson. 138 to play. That'll bring the Red Raiders back within a touchdown at 66-58, extra point pending. And even though they've got three timeouts, you got to think they've, they're they guaranteed to kick an onside kick. Guaranteed. Right? Guaranteed. Mahomes' fifth touchdown pass tonight. Extra point is good. 138 to go. Mahomes to Batson. 66-59. Sooners were able to recover an onside kick against... Texas. Look at this hands unit. Joe Mixon, Mark Andrews, Carson Meyer, Geno Lewis out there, along with Dee Westbrook, Dimitri Flowers, Toby. They got all the hands guys out there, including Jarvis Baxter. Nobody deep for OU. Keep that in mind. They pop it over. There could be a sprint for the ball here. It'll be Hatfield. Onside kick coming. There's the kick. Far side of the field, it takes a hop. Baxter's got it, falls down. Sooners have it. Two hop right into the hands of Jarvis Baxter, who took a knee at the Tech 47, and now the Sooners need a first down. Tech has three timeouts remaining. They need uh, one first down is what they need. If Texas Tech doesn't get the ball back, Mahomes will finish one attempt shy of the record. He's thrown 88 passes tonight. Clayton Kershaw threw 93 pitches tonight. Hendricks for the Cubs, exactly 88 as well. Pistol formation, first and 10. Baker hands to Mixon. Up the middle, protecting the ball across the 45, plows his way to the 42. Good solid five yards on first down. Timeout, Texas Tech. Out of the half. 30 second timeout. I don't know. I mean, what Mahomes has done tonight with 734 yards passing is off the charts. But I'm not sure he's had a bigger night than Joe Mixon. 256 on the ground. 114 through the air and five touchdowns. That's a pretty good night. He's carried it 29 times. He's caught four passes. He's had 24 or 29 rushes, huh? Yeah. He's averaging 8.8 .8 yards a carry tonight. And he's going to get it again in all likelihood right here. His previous career high in attempts was 19. He's got 10 more than that. Here we go. Pistol formation, second and five from the 42. Snap. Baker hands to Mixon. Up the middle to the 40, pushing the pile to the 39, to the 38. It'll be shy of the first down. Timeout, Texas Tech. Texas Tech calls their second timeout of the half. Let's see where they spot this. Timeout. They're going to put it at the 30. I'll put it down, fellas. Let's see. 39, I believe. Yep, right on the 39. So it'll be third down and two. With 126 to go, Tech has one timeout left. Oklahoma picks up three here. And you can... Well, we'll wait. I kind of like the boot here, Coach. What do you like? I think I would uh, probably fake it to uh, Mixon and let uh, Baxter, or, uh, Mayfield. the quarterback keep it. Teddy, what do you like? Either that or throw a quick pass to the tight end. He'll be wide open. They won't be anybody far enough back to cover him. Yeah, I like a run pass option here from Baker Mayfield, Toby. You know, put the ball in his hands and get him on the outside. They're going to be piling the box on the inside for Mixon, and maybe you can still push him off the ball to get it. He goes under center with Mixon deep. Flowers is in the backfield as well. Now he's going to go out right. This is going to be a wildcat. Nice snap, yeah. Mixon's going to take the snap. He's got it. Runs right side, pushing. He's got the first down to the 35-yard line, and you can unhitch that wagon. 
put the ponies in the barn. It took every ounce of offense the Sooners had tonight, but they're going to ride out of Lubbock with a win. And Baker Mayfield says, wreck that. 66-59, Sooners will line up in the victory formation. I don't Ooh. think I've ever experienced a game quite like this. Do we? <laughs> That's saying something coming from you, Coach. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of games. You've seen a couple. I've seen them close, but never with this score on the scoreboard. Snap to Mayfield. He hits a knee. He's going to have to do it one more time. Sooners just lost. Stats is worried about the five yards OU just lost on that taking of a knee. Tech has one timeout. They're electing not to use it here. What a night on the high plains. Sooners are going to move to 4-0 in the Big 12. They line up in the diamond victory formation again. Snap to Baker. There's the knee. And Bob Stoops and Cliff Kingsbury will start the walk toward each other at midfield. An offensive explosion tonight between Oklahoma and Texas Tech. And the Sooners come out on top. Win column, Sooners, game over. Final score tonight in Lubbock, Oklahoma 66 and Texas Tech 59.